you. And it's showtime. They can hear you, you know. <laughs> can they? Oh, my yeah, God. Just before we go on. Okay, okay. I didn't <laughs> as soon say... As the music goes off? I didn't say anything terrible. No, you're just counting last... down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just watching it. Uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles, specifically the Atari 2600, until I get some more modded consoles. That's right. And it's in the works. It's in the works. I'm a excited. Coleco and an Intellivision, so we kind of branch out and take a look at some other, you know, old school 8-bit consoles of that era. And like like the Atari, I have not played <laughs> either or of those. probably seen. Yeah, no, in person. I mean, obviously on YouTube, I've seen like reviews and yeah, videos yeah. and stuff, but I've never played it myself. So if you do get All those, it'll be the first time I've ever even held the thing <laughs> the in my controller? hand. Well, yeah, an so. Intellivision controller is something very different. I'm looking so, forward to yes. this. And, and hello, everybody out yeah, hi. in internet land watching us live uh, streaming on Twitch. Um, Arena Foot, Impaler 74, Dianoid 2600, Thrust 26. Uh, people are coming in. Popping uh, in and yeah, out. I think that's uh, t Tiki Dank. It's not, I, I, it looks like Tiki Dank because it's like two words, but it's Tiki Dan K. Tiki da Dan K. Dan yeah. Kitchen. Daniel okay, Kitchen. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm just like, Tiki I'm like, Dan K. I know. I, I, every time. Well, it's like, well eh. Dank means something to us millennials. <laughs> yeah. It's different. Exactly. <laughs> so. And uh, hello, Cool Crab. Hey, cool Crab. Uh, we have a huge show. Huge oh, show I'm today. Looking forward to this. Lots of big lucky. things, announcements. Um, so I got that's, my coffee, so I'm ready. That's important. <laughs> um, I think one of our cameras is off. Let me just get that working. Oh, oh yeah, the, it's the, the webcam. Oh, the little webcam. I can guy. get that going. Okay, good. Oh, oh, it killed all the cameras. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, that's okay. They can still hear us. No, Tiki Dan K. You don't have to change your name. We'll 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 uh, pronounce it the proper way. It's oh, just. Oh, I was doing. I did the wrong one. Oh no. That's okay. We're back, and uh, let me get the webcam. See, if Rena's I... here for the first hour. We'll miss you in the second hour. Yeah. Hopefully, watch it on YouTube later, man. I'm that's sure right. you will. But You'll be able to it's catch always up. available there. There we go. Unable to display. Yeah, we just like have been messing with stuff we're back yeah we're back we we're back in black there's we're good a... oh that's good enough it's a little bit crooked but there's no <laughs> big deal we'll fix it in a bit um yeah some big announcements today um and we're going to be playing a very interesting big game like a, yeah. a game that people have been been anticipating Ooh. But has not come out yet. So, but so this is an, is this like a first? This is first. Like, Whoa. not even videos, no demos. Cats are jumping. Cats. Goodbye. It makes the show. It adds the level of challenge. We weren't playing. <laughs> yeah, Irina just said the stacks. Is that right? Is that, that the is. one? Okay. It's the stacks, and it is based off of the book Ready Player One. Oh, sweet. Which obviously turned into a huge movie. I saw the movie, so I know the I movie. I saw the movie last night. Did you? Oh, good. <laughs> in, in preparation <laughs> for the show and the video game has nothing to do with the video game what, like what, nothing at all well you don't know is Cat. james james confessed to me he said i don't want to watch the <laughs> ready player one and then now he's watched that it which right. is good <laughs> he said it will, i guess we'll get to it like a mini sort of review i will talk about the movie i guess it's unavoidable to not talk about it but yeah and he's just tucking the cat away. <laughs> cat just got banished into the bathroom. Yeah, he's the cat's... Just messing with our stuff too much. The cats were no good, so uh, I had to banish them today. At least, uh, yeah, one of them. The black and white one, Yeah. Pixel, messes with us. Gets yeah. on the, the mixing board and stuff. Yeah. It's no good. You know, it says the book is so much better and different than the movie. This is what I hear. I saw a review of it from yeah. the Red Letter Media guys, and one of them had seen it, and he talked a lot about it. How and and Tanya read the book long before the movie as well, and she loves oh, the book yeah. too. And the other big news Thanks. is we're announcing the 2018 Atari Awards. Damn. But we'll get to that in one second. So, um, but today we're going to be playing four games, four-ish games. One is called Fade Out. Um, Sounds cool. Uh, one's called Tombstones. Uh, is that Western themed? Uh, yes. A cool. Bit. I'm yeah. into that. Okay, I'm stoked for two. Um, uh, one's Hunt the Wumpus slash Wumpus Hunter. Do we know what a Wumpus is, or is that something we'll discover? We will discover. Um, 
because it's an old reference to like text-based video games. Okay, I believe. Cool. Yeah, it, I think so. And the big one, the stacks. the stacks. And we'll be playing all of those games coming up. Arena Foot likes Tombstone. He says it's cool. Yeah, it, I've only played it a little bit, so we're kind of going to be able to experience it together on the show yeah and uh cool crab says that the movie dumbs the pop culture down yeah which is would you say that's the case i mean we'll get into more stack stuff when we get there but... yeah we'll get into it but yes in general yeah. yes okay. we'll get into how what i think of the movie i can't compare it to the book me neither but i can only compare it to how, how i feel yeah. <laughs> about about the movie as an experience and i want to thank the twitch subscribers who support the show uh carcass Ada Man, uh, Tiki Dan K, Soundtrack 78, Mr. Fix, Jeffrey 2123, uh, Tasty Sandwich, Atari Spot, Ground Trooper, and Muddy Funster. Wow. And you can support it too. It's free to do that if you have um, the. Uh, Dude, Ground Trooper's here. Hey, Ground Trooper. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch Prime and just click subscribe to the channel cool and it's free for you and it helps uh, the show buy new um homebrew games to show on the show and um yes okay let's get to the big news here Ooh. is the graphic atari awards Damn. 2018 is taking place after 2018 in january 2019 um it will be celebrating all of the amazing homebrew that has been released during this year and you know all the games that we played on this show that's amazing and many 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 more games because we haven't even scratched the surface of all the games that have been released in 2018 and there is still many more months to go wow. <laughs> so it'll be broadcast live on zero page homebrew that's insane through, through twitch you know i'll get dressed up and <laughs> it, it's totally oscars time i'm gonna be making it's the prop, homebrew oscars homebrew Damn. oscars um you know proper video because i'm a video editor we both work mm -hmm. in the film industry and i'll be making you know the nominees are and it'll be like a video going in behind showing oh. you know footage of the video games and the little title of the game and who it's made it's by a proper below. award proper. show is what you're saying oh yeah Man. i'm gonna you know get dressed in a suit and and to accept the awards we're gonna have video conferencing wow so the people the winners will be able to actually vocally accept the awards obviously they can't be at the awards because there is no place for yeah. the awards <laughs> um but they can be there uh, virtually and with trophies that That's is right. correct Damn. uh with categories no no i should i should actually preface this it is presented by you know zero page homebrew obviously yeah atari age wow who is part of this officially uh and also the atari 2600 homebrew companion which is brian mathern which is arena foot wow. in the chat right now so we're all presenting this i feel like that's this is an official award that's almost show. all the people i mean i don't know like <laughs> i don't know how it go how like the what the gathering points are yeah. but those are the things that get mentioned all the time on the show so that must and, be like yeah i mean the atari age forum is the biggest forum for atari 2600 okay, homebrew there are like facebook groups there's other forums as well um but it's the biggest one so i thought so that's probably it's a great thing to team up with then. it is and and we wanted to make it an official thing um so that it's not just you know us doing it <laughs> it's not just in our basement two dudes in a basement being yeah like, we want my favorite game is <laughs> and, and and every week uh we have all the best programmers come to the show you know dan kitchen yeah. and um and thomas yentz and daryl spice jr and everybody else um and this is celebrating all homebrew. It's not just stuff released through Atari Age. It's independent releases. It's releases on other distributors. It's everybody's. No, so wow. it's not just Atari Age, even though they are they're part, connected part of with it. it. They're it's, connected it. It's not it. exclusively their stuff. Yeah. I okay, mean, that makes sense. That's cool. Because in the forums, in the Atari Age forums, they don't just discuss. Yeah. Just Atari Age released stuff. It's everything. It's a very mm -hmm. open and welcoming community. Yeah, it's very unbiased. It will be a community vote. Okay. So it's it's up to you to vote in your favorites. Um, after on January first, the polls open, 
and we'll have um, the selected, you know, top 10 or something homebrew uh, in the categories. Let me just read out some of oh, the cool. some of the categories. Arena Foot's posting some of them. So obviously the big one is the best overall homebrew released that so year. So it's like the best picture. Yes, like that would Oscars. be the best picture equivalent of the Oscars. And it and it kind of follows that same kind of thing. Best graphics. Okay. Best original music. Um, best sound. Uh, best hack. Best 2600 demo. Um, best work in progress game. Like most anticipated yeah. work in progress game. It's like, oh, this is being made. It's not out yet. I think that I like that idea for that category because that might be a great little kind of nudge to be yeah. like, hey, go sort of finish your game. Yeah. You know? so, so it's like people are really looking forward to your game. It's like, come on, get it out there. Yeah. Um, uh, best packaging. So, you know, artwork on the cartridge, the manual, the box, yeah. Um, even promotional material, because some people don't release physical cartridges. Even non, even just ROMs are, are in this as well. You don't have to, you know, get it released through a big distributor or anything. If you made this by yourself, you put it out for people to download and play, you're in. You don't have to be distributed or anything like that. It's, it's all the people's choice. Yeah. So this is very democratic. I tried to this make is, it democratic. This is not like you can pick between the Republicans and the Democrats. <laughs> That's right. Like, you get two choices. Like, That's sounds it. like you get this. You get this spectrum, which is great. It's like yeah. Hillary or Trump. We won't. <laughs> we won't have that. <laughs> That's right. Um, so we don't have all the categories released yet, but the ones I mentioned are the big broad categories, and we'll be drilling down into more. So we're, we'll be releasing more information as time goes on. Um, probably the next. We will, because a lot of people don't, aren't up to speed as, as Rena Foote and I and some other people yeah. of what came out in 2018, because they're like, I don't know when it came yeah. out. I just like this game. We're going to be putting a list on the Atari Age forums um, very soon, probably today, at least a partial list of what has come out in 2018 so far because yeah. we're going to be adding to it and ad ad adapting it i believe there's like there's arena's over like i'm making a list tonight yes of course uh, arena's on this <laughs> he's on it because <laughs> he is the keeper of the list if people don't know yeah. that's why arena foot um is part of this uh he actually came up with the idea wow and he proposed it to me and i was like i, I was Thanks, already arena. i was already thinking of something like that and he and he and we're like well f obviously it has to be done if we're both thinking about it um and he is the keeper of the master list of Atari 2600 homebrew games that have ever been released, ever. Wow. So he is a great resource of that so for keeping track of what has come out. Yeah, he's, awesome minds think alike. He's the scribe. Like, he is. Anybody he's the, mentions... He's the bard. He's the poet of, yeah. of the homebrew. Anybody mentions any homebrew game, he's on it. He records it. He he keeps it wow. keeps it graphics you know who who worked on it yeah it's it's wonderful so yeah we're open to suggestions for categories obviously we can't have a million categories uh we want to keep it to a somewhat reasonable list but we want suggestions for nominations we want suggestions for categories so head over to atari age it's in the 2600 um sub forum it's like right at the top because people yeah, are yeah. commenting on it and it's and it says uh 2018 homebrew games so please head over there give suggestions um and we're really excited yeah i don't know can I, can arena post like a like a url to that in the chat i don't know if that's asking too much though oh yeah please arena yeah. foot if you could for people in the chat um and people uh watching uh later let me put up the chat again on there yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's in the Atari Age forums under okay, the Atari cool. 2600. But uh, for people in the chat to click on there. Um, and people are already suggesting stuff. So, so people are really already... excited about it. And That's good. I'm really excited about it. Um, because it, it honors all this hard work. Um, other than the show and, and people seeing it. But I think 
a nice kind of culmination of the whole year well, yeah, is and, a nice thing to these have. These things wouldn't exist. Like none of this would exist if people weren't just like hanging out in their yes. like on their computer creating these kind of interesting games for like this this <laughs> this console that's it's it's this yes. bizarre cool community. I'm I'm feel so lucky that I get to like <laughs> I get to, this, I so, yeah. I like fumbled into this like cool <laughs> party. I'm like, yeah. "Oh, what's this place? Oh my <laughs> it's quite cool. It's a thank you so much for doing this stuff and also like oh, yeah. I guess thank, thank you to everyone who yeah. makes these games like if you didn't make these it's games crazy. this wouldn't exist you know the forms you know and and everything else wouldn't exist you know That's to keep the spirit of the atari 2600 alive and coincidentally yesterday was its 41st birthday wow. of the atari 2600 41 years old yesterday this feels like the punk rock indie film <laughs> of like this feels like 90s miramax of of like yeah uh, of games which is very cool it's, it's you an know? exciting time for this past year for homebrews this past little while because i feel it's ramped up a bit there's been such amazing games been put out and and the progression of the technology and the ability to push the atari vcs further and further and you just look at each new game coming out you're like how does it do it how, how is that possible on this thing uh, who this is like a deep question but yeah. who who created the Atari? Like, who was... Because I wonder, I would love to know, like, what that person would think of homebrew. <laughs> like, because, I mean, uh, when you created... A lot this, of them are really old or dead now. I yeah. imagine, because wouldn't it be amazing to, like, you make this thing and then cut to how many years later yeah. um, people are still playing your console and, in fact, they're still building games for it. Like, that'd be, that's an amazing thing. Well, if you go to, like... Um, expos like the portland retro gaming expo a lot of the original programmers are doing um speak uh, talks there yeah and you know they talk about that all the time they they are so happy and amazed that people care well, even yeah. care that that this existed nowadays and they come and listen to them talk and still buy the old cartridges and are making new games for them or you know taking old ones and improving them or hacking them or well, yeah yeah they they love it they really love it and they think it's a it's awesome and um, but there's been lots and lots of documentaries um made about the 2600 yeah, and stuff okay, in the past sense. five years and retro gaming and things yeah uh, no no uh documentary on homebrew though no see that would mm. be that would be if that's something to think about james mm. i don't know man no, i've thought about it a lot <laughs> <laughs> who's uh nolan uh bush now uh, that arena's bringing up yeah he uh let me bring up the wikipedia entry for him but yeah he is uh one of the founders of atari let's see i don't want to say anything wrong yeah okay cool um is yeah he uh founded chuck e cheese and atari the atari wow. corporation um he's still around he's still alive yeah born in 1943 so and he says an electrical 70, engineer 75 years old now yeah. so he's getting on yeah all these people are there it is 75 yeah. makes sense yeah wow yeah yes i'll reach out to nolan <laughs> <laughs> for what oh on the show, show. that would be crazy on this show or in the awards. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever, man. I'm sure they have connections to him. I don't know what he's doing now. I'm sure, you know what, no matter what, you if you could potentially do like a Skype conversation or something. Yeah. Like, and you post it on YouTube. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. there's, it's, there are possibilities. Both. <laughs> Both. Yeah, Arena. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, that's all very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it'll, the award show hasn't got a date yet. It'll be either at the end of January or beginning of February after we have got enough votes. So the votes will run for probably two weeks or four weeks, something like that, where people will, um, yeah, Dan K obviously has well, connections. Well, thanks, Dan. Oh, yes, my God. That would be insane. <laughs> that would be insanity. Yeah, that for would him be to like incredible. Introduce the award show would be amazing. Oh my god! Well, also here I am, just being like, "Do I wonder who?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, he's Mr. Atari. Yeah, <laughs> he's like that old dude from Ready Player One. He's like, 
Like, what was that dude's? Equivalent. What was that dude's name? It was. Oh, they had something. I can't remember. I can't remember either. Name. But they said it like ninety times in the movie. I wasn't terribly impressed with that. Uh, um, the actor's the direction really good. of that character. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we, we'll get to it when we get to stacks. That's right. We'll we'll discuss that 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 terribleness <laughs> <laughs> when we get to stacks. Um, so it is time to play some games, and the first game is. Fade out. Oh, okay. Um, and I ran across this, and I was like, "Oh my god, this concept is amazing!" So cool. Let's... Someone said on the chat, they said the fade out concept was amazing. I think someone yes. said that up there. I, I could be. They yeah, could have been mentioning Tombstone or something, but I. I think it's fade out. So, which one am I gonna do? This one. Um, it feels they're right. They're both a little. Yeah, the 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 second one. This Let's one do here? the second one, yes. So this, this is made by... 2004 XXX, this one here? Yeah. Cool. Let's because it's out. sometimes these are... Spin? The other one's newer. Like, the top one's, I think, newer. But it's it's difficult, because these are so old, these games. It's not really... It's really hard to find accurate information. This yeah. is from 2005. And it's hard to find binaries as well. Oh, this is two-player. Oh, cool. So let me just turn off and plug in another controller very quickly here. Oh, no. Oh, did we? I, I, I shut everything in. Do you want me yeah, to? Yeah, this do... goes behind the door. Oh, no, man. Please hold. Sorry about that, James. <laughs> that's okay. I set up the lights today, so that's the, that's the thing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, much better. And the webcam goes down. The webcam goes down, and give us a second. And then we'll move that oh, back. Gosh. And we're back. Okay, much better. We're nothing but professional here. That's right. Okay. Let's get out a second joystick. Oh, I like these joysticks. These ones are cool. These ones? Yeah. yeah. They're very clicky, um, but it should be when, okay. When we played Monkey one. King, this that was my favorite one to, to use for Monkey King. Yeah, it would be very, it was very really good cool. for precise. I feel like games. if we played like Pong or something, or like yeah, a, a, a Amoeba Jump, that would be a good one too. I, uh, I'm not so sure on that. These are good for movement games, like moving from one thing to another, not for games that are kind of transition oh, okay. and move around in in free form yeah the movement in the menu is very you have to hold clunky. it you have to hold it down i'm just gonna go with go i'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna i think we'll do what should we do what color Ooh, yellow yeah. feels good Ooh, that's a nice bright color we'll do yellow I'm not sure what on is. We'll leave those. We'll leave all those as default right now. Yeah, and then we'll just hit like go. Oh. Okay, where am I? Okay, you're the black guy. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. It's not... Unfortunately, this game was not finished. Okay. I'm and it's kind of freaking out. And every time you play the game, it, it kind of works a little different. That's kind of an interesting <laughs> concept. Because this is like looking crazy right this is insane it's like i'm flashing in and out i can't even look you're like it's jumping on things i can't inducing. even oh i made it on top of the second okay one. move around so okay, it doesn't okay. do that <laughs> but i did but i just made it onto the second thing and you can see yeah. see i i'm not are we supposed to kill each other yes oh you got me blam oh god what is that me <laughs> It's a like came. Does not like, look right. Yes. <laughs> look no. at this. I'm running away from my own bullet. It, it wrapped <laughs> around. This is like. This is like the small planet from Rick and Morty. Okay, let's reset. Okay. Oh no! You can. Isn't supposed to flicker. It's, it's not. Okay, hold down the button. Yellow, black. Too much flicker. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold down the button. Okay. It's it's supposed. To I've, every time I turn it on, it does something a little... Let's go to the last one. Last one, good idea. It might be a different build. Okay, that's a good idea. And this, we got some different builds to play. Yeah, too much flicker. Okay, let's just start it up again. I'm going to go... Let's just go white and black and start that. 
Oh, and a still weird flicker. Well, the thing that's really interesting is because of the way that it like seems to work, it's like it almost has to flicker so that like... But you see this time, the platforms are moving. Yeah, and look, <laughs> I'm somehow on the second row, which I wasn't able to get onto, but it doesn't matter. It seems to like... What an interesting... <laughs> But blam, I shot that's you. a little better. Yeah, it's a little better, but now it's still flashing. One time I booted it up, same builds. The uh, the colors moved very slowly across the screen. Wow. And one time I booted up and they didn't move at all across the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I so, like it. That's a little try better. Try again. Okay, hold it down. Okay. Okay. Uh, which one do you want to try this time? Fade out, maybe the first one? Sure, let's try the first one. So it's not, so see the binary is number 14? Yeah. But I found on this version, the movement is so slow. And this is flickering more than it was before. Okay. Interesting. Expert, but this seems to work a bit better. I'm just going to hit go and yeah. find out what happens. Hey! There, see? That's, but the problem on this version <laughs> is that you walk so slow. I'm, I'm jumping up. But anyway, it's it's at least viewable and not seizure inducing. Oh man. I'm so let me go to you. my notes and Hold you on. can kind of move around and play cuz there's there's see that didn't register. That's look why at, I'm thinking this is an earlier version. It has to be cuz also it's like the other thing is is look at this. Invisible, can't see exactly. me. Exactly. And that's that's what this game is about. It's oh, it's a feature. So you see I'm that color so I can hide in oh, those areas. and then I can like jump up and hide in a different one. Dude, yeah. this is cool. Exactly, yeah. It's just, it's just doesn't seem to work. So this game was made by Christopher Tumbler or Tumber, Christopher Tumber and Adam Tierney, um, aka Salstad. It's a crazy name in Atari age forms. S A L S T A D T. Um, and the description from the Atari age development page is: Fade Out is an original Atari twenty six hundred game. Uh, being developed by Christopher Tumber, who did Space Instigators, and Game Boy Advanced artist Adam Tierney. In Fade Out, you play one of two assassins, hunting each other down in an abandoned factory. Okay, this is, I, I buy that. This what is, game play, like, yeah, it, it reminds it. me of Spy vs. Spy, in terms of the black and white, the two colors. Yeah. Um, it would be good if you could like set up bombs and stuff, and traps for each other, something like that, in the colors that they can't see. Um, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, what makes gameplay unique is the factory is alive with moving platforms. Yeah, you can jump diagonally as well. You, you can. can. My guy can't. Look. Like up and to the left? No. See, I just can't. But your guy can. Oh, see, that's why this is... I think this is an earlier build. Yeah, and you're really slow. And it's too. slow. And... and these, But he's got some moving platforms. Look, that's Arena cool. Foot says he's never found the ROM to this one online. Well, I have three different ones so i can send them can over to you set it up yeah i don't know how i found three different ones but i i dug because as soon as i saw this concept i'm like oh my god this is such a brilliant concept yeah. with the moving platforms and the ways you can kind of hide temporarily because they move around um because of this pl players are free to move about each level in the shadows hidden Ooh. from their enemy see this is cool when it rotates like let's yes. check this out That's now you're neat. hidden and then the it's top. like, and then you could like track with it almost, and yes. then like hide in this. Because you know where and then you hide are. Hide in this. Kind of. And then you could like shoot people. Yeah. Sal Salstad came up with the idea. Yeah. Um, Blam. Let's see if you... the game is currently two player only, and plans for it to be released later this year. That was like two thousand four, two thousand five. Um, so it didn't never got released. You could, and I'll get to the why. You can view screenshots and a cartridge mock up here, and that's on the Tar Atari Age development page. So it was first posted in 2003 by Adam Tierney. Yeah, the concept was a two to four player platforming deathmatch combat. Four player would be Insane. amazing. And there's no reason they couldn't do four player with some nice flicker management. Um, the twist is blocks of color in the background are the same color as the sprites. So, well, it'd be difficult because they'd have to have four colors. And that's really difficult to do. Oh, yeah. More than two on a line. I think yeah. that like... Um... But they could do them so every second platform is your platform yeah and also there's something cool about black and white you know i got, got all these like, color features and stuff but there is and there's just, just think... been a couple there's been spies in the night yeah. which was a noir game released uh earlier this year very very cool it's like you know you're a spy you have to set up a bomb explode a lighthouse 
It's really cool. Um, and that was like one of the first games we ever played on the show. Um, so he came up with this concept in 2003. And then two years, la two years later, after he brought um, Chris on board, um, he responded to somebody saying, what, what happened to this game? Yeah. And Look, I ran out of bullets. Oh, no. <laughs> we both ran out of bullets. I was just firing. Now what happens? You just run into each other? Yeah. What just happens if stab we... Stab with a knife. See, that would be good. Yeah. If you could run out of bullets, you could stab with a knife if you're close. Oh, are you kind of shooting? Kind of. No, because no. look, we're overlapping. Oh. That's cool. Um, so Adam said vaporware. Chris is no longer coding it. Haven't been able to get a hold of him. Oh, this is in bad. 2005. Albert pressed a cart for me of the most polished two-player version, and I played it at E3 this year, 2005. Yeah. Um, pretty fun and easy to get into. I suppose we could always release that, but the game had so much promise with the inclusion of a single one-player game. As much as I'd like to see it completed, I'm not going to advocate hijacking his code. Obviously, you don't take somebody's code without permission and yeah, continue with that it. That makes sense. And Paler says he thinks he found the like, like latest, latest version. So I think like... it was the latest version I found. I found that version. I don't know if of the three that is one is dated 2004. I think I yeah. have that 2004. Both are, two of them were dated 2004, yes. the ones we were trying. So they were possible. a little different, the 2004s. Yeah. So different. This seems to be like the most legit. If he's willing to let somebody else take a shot at it, he, he, we, he'd, he'd be willing to continue on because Adam is the graphics guy. Yeah. Um, uh, that said, if somebody wants to get a hold of him and work that out, I'd happy to be happy to con start contributing more art and ideas to the project. And then a little later, he said, I emailed Chris again when I made this topic and no reply. So I assume he's no longer interested in, in it. Um, so Chris is missing in action. It would have to be coded from scratch. It doesn't look like mm, it'd be too difficult to yeah, do I, from I scratch. Yeah, I like this concept. I think there's a lot of like potential here. Yep, and Adam has not been in the Atari Age forum since 2015. So you, the, I mean, that's... the coder, the I mean, not the coder, the graphics guy yeah. has not been there for three years. So if somebody has a way to get a hold of it's not as them, bad as 2004. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not that it's far not back. As, it's a not market eight, difference. Not 14 years. Yeah. yeah, but it's still not good. Three years. Is... So if somebody wants to get a hold of Adam and has the inclination to continue on this amazing concept. Yeah, like because I, none of these three are really playable. I, yeah. Maybe the one that Adam has that he demoed in the E3. It Maybe. obviously is better than these three because these three glitch out. Yeah, I mean, we always have issues sometimes, I guess, on being on console. So maybe on, like, what is it, emulator? It not, might be a bit better. I don't know. Not this one. Not this one. This be one's still Because of glitch. the way it was glitching, it was like... Oh, like, so it's, it doesn't matter what you no, play it on. This not one's not going to work. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, it is It is very... I tried to yeah, find see, any like, look more. At this. It's very cool. I can, like, hide in, like, here. Yeah, like... I can, like, jump up potentially... And like jump up, shoot me, and fall back down. And then, right? and then the ones that are rotating, you could like potentially see there. Now these collide. You're invisible for a while. Although we can see your feet, that's not great. Oh, I can't get back down. Oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't so even jump. I can't even jump. You can't on get platform, to the second so. level. In the other versions, you are able to, but it glitches out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously unbelievable concept well yeah and you can also like even the like and characters never... are in good shape like you can dock you can yep. shoot you can jump and i've you seen can... this kind of concept in modern shooters where you switch between two different colors yeah of ship by pressing a button and when you are say the a black ship black things can't hurt you and when you're a white ship white things can't hurt you so there's lots of it's usually bullet hell games yeah so bullets come at you you switch to whatever bullets so that they can't hurt you and then but you have to switch to a color to shoot the other yes it's like things. if you're the same color there's no yeah. risk that's right but you can't shoot them yeah so this, so it's to beat the reward. game you've got to bounce that's cool so it's similar concept not really but it uses colors in a similar way well yeah and it's for neat. hiding it's neat that you like it's a bit of a weird sort of stealthy thing yes. especially if there were like four players this would be like it's definitely not enough stealth games on 2600 no. this is a beautiful way of using the simplicity of the 2600 to uh yeah i think that's where i extracted it from mm -hmm. is out of the rom collection 1.2 um that i think that's a 2004 version um 
and a beautiful they even did uh cover art for wow. the, for the cartridge and it's beautiful as you can see the 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 red and the black yeah i mean that's this almost feels like sort of anime inspired to yes. me it feels a little like um uh like like it would like it'd be like a manga or something yeah because it sort of has like that hair and stuff like that yeah. i don't know if that's where they were going for or just like a graphic novel it's cool yes yeah it's great so let's move on because there's not a lot you can do with this i mean let's let's check out some of the other options yeah, you Hold just the button. We'll give it a go, and we'll sort we'll of let up see. one of the newer ones, okay. and we'll just see what the options do. Okay, so uh, maybe the last one. What do you think? Because it's two thousand four. Yeah, let's do the last one. We'll see what that's like. Okay, and then um, and let's just look through the options on the menu. And beautiful, you know, intro screen with the with the sound. So you can change colors: gray, red, black, blue green and you can change colors too yeah uh Let's see what orange, happens if i switch yellow whoa oh, okay Ooh. you get some terrible combinations black white gray Ooh. red that's oh not good. no 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 <laughs> that's not that's awful not bad yeah well, that's, that's not bad. high contrast that's for sure that's a good one they're they're opposite on the color wheel James. oh perfect <laughs> so they're complementary <laughs> that's right they're the most contrasting colors <laughs> so i don't what is this versus these are neighboring colors yeah that's for so sure. it's messed up and there's like and off, this is like off and on let's let me sorry. turn mine off whatever that is oh okay. there's speed S what is speed of this? walking I can't. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. No, you keep yours on, and I'll keep mine off. And we'll find out what we'll it find is. Find out what it is. Okay. Lights on and off. Ooh. Lights on and off. Okay. Need and then bullets. Speed of walking. Candle. Um, number of bullets. I don't know what that is. Life maybe. Because there's no instructions. Look, I couldn't find any instructions for this. My thing seems to be sort lights of lights on and off. Sort of going. It's on. so slow. Brightness. You have to hold it down. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's. Yeah. Oh, there we there go. There you go. So let me take mine down to nothing, to one, and you keep it on four. Cool. We'll both keep the same speed of walking, because that's obvious. And bullets, we'll both keep bullets up. Cool. Okay, are you ready? You're I'm good with your black? Yeah, yeah, okay. no, that's good. Let's do it. There's my black. Whoa. So oh, yeah, I got up. I got up. That's good news. Yeah. Okay, I got up. Oh, so you... oh, it's not glitching out. That's good. I think one. I think one character can like. Oh, that's good. No, we're good. We can play. Hey. I mean, it's a bit seizure inducing. <laughs> this yeah, version. I think I'm, maybe our purple and black was was you know like black and good... white is probably better. But no, I yeah, it's pretty like I don't think I could play this for too long. <laughs> like my, I already I already feel like like I'm I've been on one of those spinny rides <laughs> at like the thing. You have to land on the white platforms, otherwise you fall. You have to land on the black. Oh my platforms. god! And I gotta kind of go with it, but I can't oh, really I see you. what's going on. And there's score in this one. Wow. Okay. So I got one point. I got one. And you just got one point. So we'll try and attempt to play this. Oh, well, I'm almost out of bullets. Oh, that's quite the noise. I don't know what's going on there. Something happened. I think the sound of you firing got kept, kinda kept like, going. And it's hard to walk on these platforms because, because like, they, I can't... you have to move with yeah, them. Yeah, and I also can't see because it's slightly <laughs> invisible. <laughs> this is like epilepsy's nightmare. I don't know. Yeah, let, I'll turn down the sound for now. <laughs> sound? Question mark? Is that sound? because you can't hear it or is that because it's going a sound arena? Oh, there is sound. Let me turn that up. There. It's terrible. Terrible. So let me turn it down. I'm just trying to like jump so on I'm these out of platforms. Bullets. I'm just making it to the top, man. That's my plan. No, I'm falling. Oh, and there's also a little package. Oh, it's... so I need more bullets. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Which is the package? On the top left. Oh, I'm it's getting, flashing I'm getting Oh, I'm getting that package. No, you have lots of bullets. <laughs> I'm getting that package. I have no bullets. I don't even see if it's there anymore. I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to okay. play. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's down now. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. I'll let you get it. I'll let you get it. There. Now I'm bullet. I've got bullets again. Nice. Okay. So there's drops. That's cool. Bullet drops. I was wondering. This is like Call of Duty. Oh, finally the sound is done. Gone again. 
Okay, don't don't shoot me. I'm sorry. I sort of did shoot you. Right as you said, don't shoot me, I just pulled the trigger. And also the bullets go like over and over Bam. on the screen. I jumped oh. over it. Take that. Boom. Ah, I jumped over it. Nice. Bam. And you can duck too for whatever that's worth. I don't think you Do can Do you think duck. you can duck bullets? Try it. Shoot me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you ready? Yep. Bam. Ducked. Yep. Yeah. So you can jump or duck. This is some Matrix type <laughs> dodging of That's bullets. right. Bouncing off the walls. That's right. It's... No, this is this is amazing, especially if it was extended to four players. Yeah, and if it were just like a little bit cleaner for its movement, right? Because yeah. you can't. I think it's also the jumping's a little delayed, so it's hard to get on. I mean, I get it though. It's like, oh, yeah. oh bam! Did I die? Yep. Boom. Oh, you got me. Oh my god. So if you can shoot a person when they miss a platform and they fall back down see the collision's not perfect either you're kind of in the middle of a platform yeah and i think that i kind of i'm trying to like get down so i can kill you Bam. oh duck and the bullets go too far they go like wrap around the whole screen oh this isn't bad impaler 74 says fade out has a fun concept too bad it wasn't finished this is very close to being finished though it's just a couple glitches um obviously the screen is going also i like crazy. that you can dock that's good although yes. i have to say i'm getting a look a little bit sick <laughs> um yeah because the other version we were seeing the platforms uh, move slower and the screen well was yeah not crazy. and i think it's also i think they're cutting like they're not because if i look at this pattern it's not actually moving it's kind of like cutting from like three or four different shapes yeah, randomly okay we're done because this is giving me a bit of a Feels like I'm, I'm in a car or something. <laughs> We're like driving. Or... Okay, power off. Press button. Got it. That's okay. a cool game though. Yeah, I I think it's it's such an amazing concept. It it oh. deserves to be continued on. Press button. There you go. Good. Um. So next one up is tombstones, Tombstone. and I'm gonna open the window because it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here for sure. Lots of lights. So which ones do you want to do? Bottom one? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do the newest one, which was released just a couple days ago. Yeah. Okay, we'll get some air. This is good. There we go. Oh, look at there are tombstones. Okay. This game is made by BJ Best Sixty. Cool. Um, and this is from a couple days ago. Oh, sorry. Thank you. And it does have an actual graphic that somebody's made. Cool. Uh, Fade Out needs a seizure warning, like Incredibles 2. It really does. I mean, it's... That version of it. it yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's supposed to be nice scrolling, like in one of the versions. Yeah. It had like, a, it was... That's why I wanted to load up the multiple versions. Because yeah. some had different things than others completed properly. It's unfortunate. And I, and I bet you some colors you're just going to be more sensitive to than others yeah. as well. That's why it's, I would almost make it just black and white. I mean, it's cool to have the feature, but it's like... Yeah, default black and white. Okay. Um, so the original, the first one was posted on June 26, 2018. So this is a brand new game. Brand new game, cool. Hello all, I'm happy to release the beta version of my next game, Tombstones. Oh. It's an 8K game with a standard kernel. The story... It's been a long war. You're one of the last five members of the Blue Brigade. Oh. You're fighting for everything you believe in is right, just, free, and true. Your enemies for the past ten years have been the treacherous yellow coats. Oh. They too are fighting for everything they believe is right, just, free, and true. As in all wars. It's got some political like <laughs> truth in there, man. They are wrong. <laughs> They're wrong? <laughs> They're always wrong. The, this is some tribalism at yes. its best. I like it. In the past year, your scientists have made advances mm. in ballistics and issued each remaining member of the brigade a gun. Even a chicken could, could shoot a yellow coat, the boys in the lab say. Oh. But the yellow coats operate on stealth. They are far more of them than are you. And they can appear from seemingly anywhere. They are superior in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And if you come into contact with one, you're guaranteed a swift death. What are these like doctors saying? And they're like, "This is a chicken can do it, but they'll appear out of nowhere." Chicken can shoot the gun, oh. but it's still difficult I see. that they're coming to get you I see. with their hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's only the gun that they they think is easy to use. Okay, good. Yellow coats have a strange tradition of mourning their dead. Anytime one of them falls in battle, other yellow coats immediately erect a tombstone. 
The Hence inscriptions the are tedious and never enlightening. <laughs> <laughs> Great write up. Bill the... walked yeah. a long journey. <laughs> That's right. He now lays here. This is... All the graves and their markers do do is all the graves and the, their markers do is get in the way of your bullets and you. Okay. If you defeat enough yellow coats, you will win the battle, but not as of yet the war. <laughs> I felt that coming. I don't know. Yes, why. of course. You will then be deployed to the next battlefield, where intel ensures you that you will face even a larger and faster army of yellow coats. One other thing. The reward for being good at work is you get more work. Yes. Yeah, I've heard that saying too. <laughs> um. You might have a gun, but the yellow coats have bombs. Right now, the science is simplistic and the bombs are difficult to set up. But as you fight increasing battles, you bo feel both the technology and the skill of the yellow coats deploying it are increasing. Okay. Should a yellow coat detonate a bomb, all will be destroyed. The yellow coats, the tombstones, the battlefield, and you with it. Informally, the yellow coats call themselves the omelets. <laughs> they are not worried about breaking a few eggs. No, bad. Okay, that's the only bit of this <laughs> write-up that I'm just like. I was so into your lore, Tell and then that. and then you make a pun like that. <laughs> I'm like the tedious tombstone writing. I'm it's like, great. oh, it's oh, got yeah. some good stuff. Okay, Me member of the Blue Brigade, you are determined to end this long war by massacring and, and the cracking other side. some eggs. Cracking <laughs> some eggs. So you're blue, enemy is yellow, shoot the enemies to kill them. Anytime okay. you do, they leave behind a tombstone, which will block future enemies, you and your shots. If you kill enough enemies, you'll move to a new battlefield where you encounter more enemies who also move faster. Okay. The, that's the summary. That's like, yeah, that's that's like the, the thesis. That's the first paragraph. That's right. Right. The you counter the on the lower left signifies the number of blue soldiers remaining. Cool. You begin with the player and four reserves, so five. Okay. Uh, the enemies have a bomb, which takes time to set up, and that is represented by the timer in the lower right, so a timer. Oh, that's game. cool. If the timer reaches zero, the bomb will detonate, destroying everything. Um, so go for it, and I'll keep okay. on. Okay. So blue is you. Shoot those dudes. Shoot the yellow omelets. <laughs> oh. Sounds a bit like Death Derby, Thrust 26 says. Whoa, you're hiding behind a tombstone, man. Yeah. Okay, so, so far, uh, they're, I, I see what they mean by hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, it's... they're coming to punch your lights out. Battle 2. So you finished the first one. Uh, to, to develop the game, I was thinking about the play field and how there are lots of maze games that ask you to either negotiate a maze or alter it to succeed. But I feel there aren't many games whose fundamental mechanic is to build a maze. Um, that's a great point i actually yeah. i really appreciate that and then we got this bomb kind of build idea. a wall yeah um, and then as it gets harder it's like i did i did understand that concept and when i was testing it out i actually built a wall built a wall complete wall so they couldn't get past it and you kind and of then you, the game is kind of stops what's well, your r.i.p right anything, so then, don't do that and the bomb goes off oh yeah right so that's a bad thing to build a wall. So That's it's like you got to be careful. Don't build a f complete wall. Like like this situation I got going here. Yeah, is a you bit could gnarly. start getting in trouble soon if you build too much. So it's you're trying to not make a wall. I like to imagine that right now I'm just shooting so many people with a revolver. <laughs> you you are. Battle four. Uh, it's fairly easy to isolate yourselves from the enemy here, but that only guarantees the bomb will explode. Uh, that makes sense. It's yes. kind of like what you were saying. That's right. There is an A expert level of difficulty. I pref actually prefer, pl prefer playing the game in that mode. So it makes me wonder if the B novice is too easy. So you're playing on the novice one? Yeah, I mean, so far, I would not say that I've been challenged. But it's not necessarily... <laughs> Whoa, that was close. That you're getting a little close to the... Oh, oh you lost the yeah, life. lost the life. That's the first life I've lost, though. But because he snuck up on you, he appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, and i got to be careful about this, right? Because... Yeah. Um, I'd love to hear any comments, criticisms, suggestions for improvement. I certainly would like any bug reports as well. I actually have cool. a bit of ROM left over for improvement, about 400 bytes. And the game could expand to 16K if needed. For example, after one battle is over, there could be a basic title card showing the number, level number on the next battle. This was his first release. He obviously um, added that in. Like I mean the 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 other uh, it depends like one idea I have is that the shapes could get smaller, 
as an option or bigger oh, like you could like, be smaller and they could be bigger or opposite or some so that like you could that's so it's harder to shoot them i don't know which one would be worse but they would both be an interesting option right or they could be a mixture of shapes because right now they're all they're the different same. sizes yeah i mean they are representing people oh, yeah so but people come get, in different sizes that's true they could recruit, you know and i don't know these yellow bigger. coats could be all you know yeah it could be recruiting kids <laughs> yeah, or just like, or they could just be some. Some could be smaller, and you could be bigger than them. It's just that's just an idea I have because I was just, just looking at this. It's like I'm yeah. excited for um, advanced mode. Not that this isn't challenging, because um, it does definitely like take some getting thought. Getting there. It's just like as it, it's almost the challenge of this. Okay, they're getting faster. That's cool. See you, Arena Foot. He's like got to run to work. Have a good day at work, Arena. Yep. Um, so his updated one, uh, probably okay, the biggest challenge neat. in terms of gameplay is that there's two modes, normal and electric. Electric. Oh if you go God. right into a game, it starts as normal. That's how the game is played before. But in electric, everything in the play field, the tombstones as well as the border that encloses the battlefield oh, that's is better. electric. That's cooler. Yes. Okay, I want to play that one soon. So we'll do that one. I think we should. You want to reset? Um, I, how how long do you? Is it, is there like a point where you win, or is I think it just it's infinite? Forever, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Because uh, it's just too easy right now. Yeah, I mean, like the uh, the challenge is definitely like. I wonder if I can switch it on the fly. Some games you can. Okay. No. No. Okay. Oh no! Oh, bomb went off. Bomb went off. You ran out of time. I don't know if it's electric. Try to touch one of the tombstones. No. no. We have to reset. I'm going to reset. It's too yeah, easy. Yeah, okay, you got to go fast. Battle 7. Oh, one of these. He hasn't implemented the electric. reset buttons yet. Okay. Turning it off. Hold the button down. Okay, got it. Okay. So go back to today. Bam. So I've switched tombstones. it. Last one. Yep. Boom. Switched it to uh, expert and electric. Okay. So you're in trouble now. So they are coming a bit faster. Okay. So you can't touch the sides now or the tombstones or anything. Cool. Okay, I like that's, that. That's that a, is a bit more challenging. That's definitely more challenging. Because now you have to navigate the maze you've set up for yourself. Oh, okay. This is, this right? feels like we're really playing a game now. Yeah. Before it was sort of like, oh, I'm hanging like, out. Yeah. It's like it yeah. felt like a flash game you sort of play on like your, <laughs> your phone or, or something yeah. like that. But now I'm like, okay, there's some stuff's going on. Yeah, you got it. Oh, see? Yeah, there we go. Gotta watch out. Well, actually, that one I just ran into the guy, so who knows if that's legit or not. Yeah. So oh it's God. probably best to, like, clump the guys in the yeah. center when killing them and not, like, you're setting up some... Serious. Quite a maze now for yourself. Well, yeah, but it's also, like, I gotta fight the time, right? That's true. You can't just be lollygagging. <laughs> exactly. Lollygagging around. I gotta, like... Oh, if your color black and white switch is set to black and white when you start the game, you can fight with an alternative set of characters. So he does have some different graphics. Wow, man, this in. is actually this is a cool game. This is like a lot of stuff is happening. Look at this. I'm doing a lot better this time. Yeah, oh, that one went right through. Him. I did see that bullet go through him. There's a bug. If um, you're watching, uh, BJ Best sixty. Um, I don't think he's in the chat, but he might watch it later. Oh, see, see, Some people this have to is work, quite the, us. the situation, yeah. <laughs> Who can play video games on a Wednesday That's morning. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> flexible um, jobs. Isn't it? Yeah, flexible jobs. Um, the main cosmetic change is the title cards that announce the number of the battle. You're fighting after you win the previous one. Um, in the new version, you can, in fact, end the war if you see succeed in enough battles. So there is an end to this game. Oh, okay. So you might get to the end. I feel like it's not electric, though. Oh. Just... Have you touched anything yet? Oh, what? What's going on? Both on A. And it did change to gray. Oh. oh. They're indicated by the score color. Oh, what? Battle 5. It's definitely faster though. Like, Expert sure. A on electric is Brigade Blue. Oh, what's going on? It didn't. It didn't go. Okay. So that so your score should be blue. Okay. So if you could die, just die, so we can go back Ouch. to the main screen. Ouch. <laughs> and we'll try and fiddle because it is dark gray. Okay. Cool. So. It's... No, 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 no! Don't reset. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Die again. I will die again. 
Death. Death. Okay. Okay. Don't reset. I'm just gonna fiddle with this. Okay. Try now again. Try again. No, it's not going to blue. It's weird. The gray, the the score seems to work. Let me switch it back. Okay, die again. Bam. 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 And bam. Okay, cool. Okay. Start again. Okay, so that changed. Good. So the left difficulty is working. Okay, go die again. Maybe it's my system. Oh, your system's always been pretty good. Yeah, because I cleaned it not too long ago and redid all the connectors. Okay, let's see if it goes blue, your score. No, it's still gray. So, I'm not sure. Let's, okay, let's try this, B and then A. So go die again. Let's see if we can get electric, but in novice. Because maybe it's something in the game he messed up. So this should be light brown? No, it's... The difficulty's not... The electric isn't working. That's too bad, because that, be, that would be the best mode. That would be definitely That would be the, the best mode I'd want to play. So let's go into black and white. So die again. Let's see the alternate set of characters, at least. That sounds fun. Yeah. So this would be alternate characters. Oh, cool! Well, that's kind of cool. That looks more like people. Oh, I like this a lot. I would make this the default. Yeah, man, this is, should be the default. This is cooler. Yep. And they look like yellow coats, too. Yep. They're and it's like... neat that they turn into obstacles, yeah. And this is where you could totally have um, different obstacles, right, if you wanted to ramp it up. Because if the characters are like this, but when they die, maybe this is, like, bigger. Yeah, they, they could be made taller, taller to, or something. Which could add another level. Yep. That's a little bit more complex to program because that is drawn by the playfield, the, the, oh, the things see. that are blocking. But it's no, <clears throat> it's not too much difficulty to vary those in height. Width oh, is difficult, but no, we can't get the electric. I, 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 I want to blame it on my system. I saw electric printed on the screen a while ago. Electric printed on the screen. Hmm. I like these alternate characters though. This is cooler. It feels more like, especially when I'm shooting and stuff. An actual enemy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You look like a, a person a little bit as well. Definitely, this should be the default. This is cooler. Yeah. I don't know why it's not going to electric. Other thing is, you could have two on screen at once. Uh, yes. Uh, to ramp it up, like you could yep. have multiple ones, because he said there's a lot of them. So yeah. having to dodge like multiple ones would yep. be like. And that would be like add, especially near the yeah, end, on the especially on levels. electric. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah. Could you imagine? That's... I wonder if it, that does happen and it ramps up, because that's the stuff I would do. Yeah, that would be really, really. And cool. there's no way to get better health, which is cool. I like that. It's just like you're stuck. That one went right through. Yeah. What is what does select do? Oh, reset does reset it. What? Oh, that's cool. Let me try and it'll. Let me see if. Kablam. Oh, well. Wow. Cool. So I am... Blam. The difficulty is working, but not the right difficulty. I can't get that to change color ever. No, yeah, it seems to be always stuck on, like... But everything else works, so... Um... Do you want to give it a go? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the coolest version. Here you go, I'll pass you over. But, like, the controls are fine. Controls are great. I like yep. these. These characters are cooler. I mean, they just head straight for you, which is fine. That's what that's their mission. So it's not like they can be stealthy or anything. Um, maybe on higher levels they can get a gun, like they steal one from you. Yeah, or, or multiple ones are coming at you would be I fun. I think multiple would be best. best. And, it's like you, and that would be, like, horrific, too, because if you get, like, oh, one coming at you, and, you, and that's where side. you're... And your labor yeah. that's where your labyrinth choices become like a big deal. I love yes. the suggestion though of like um um of them being the other thing that could be interesting is like um they're always vertical. Um it could be interesting if some are horizontal. 
that would add another layer of challenge to the tombstones you mean yeah oh, okay like wider yeah because you see all of them are kind of vertically oh, length okay. if you had some horizontal ones yeah like and they that, start building different different types of tombstones yeah, yeah and and because you could have like yellow is like vertical like red is like or like or or, or like i don't want to take away because it's a yellow coat idea but you could have <laughs> one shape as gives us so these are just some crazy ideas yeah, thrust says more than one at a time as well. Yeah, that is. Um... But not um, right away. Like definitely ramp it up. Like let like this is definitely gr good for like the first few levels. But yeah. Yeah. And it, and then it could be like every and then because every time you kill someone, um, another one comes. So there's always two on a screen, and then there's always three on the screen. That would just be <laughs> brutal. And, brutal. And then you could also give you an idea of when you're you're you have like a last one. But you know, like you can do this. Yeah. It's a little easy. Oh, I don't want to block that. But you you're always fighting that bomb though. So I think that's oh, that's no yes, big deal, that's right? Because right? it's like you honestly need to sort of keep you need to keep going, especially because there's a lot of these guys to kill. I remember when I was lollygagging a bit, it was Ugh. See? And see that's tough because then you lock yourself in and you don't have an escape, that's right? Because right? yeah, you don't wanna It resets every guy you shoot though. So it's oh no. See, I have to go around. Get and then, him out of there. That's right, and you were running low on the Now bomb. it's going to get harder. I can't imagine this with electric. Like, that will be an actual challenge. That would be very cool. So I'm not sure why Electric wasn't working. working. I guess I'd love to try to play this game on electric. That seems cool. Yeah. I like these. These. This is definitely the way ah. to play, though. Like, these tomb, the, these, like, these characters yes. feel like characters. Oh, yeah. So, this oh, should be the default. feels like I'm color. playing the game, you know. I like that a lot. Um, and you can shoot down, too, and up. Oh, okay. Did not know that. It's. I just find it easier to. Oh, it's easier to do it. But if the if you ever find them sort of coming, like if you, right here, you could like fire over top of him and then shoot down. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't. I just don't think it's as big of enough of a challenge yet. No. I mean, I haven't played to the end, but this, yeah. the variation needs like, to look, get a the, the, Whoa! Yeah, the, okay, now it's a challenge. <laughs> to, yeah, speak of the devil. <laughs> yes, this is no about kidding. as fast as I, far as I made it, I think, before I had to stop. Oh my god. Ah! They're just chasing you. And you're still fighting that bomb, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's well, like the bomb is when shorter they're. Now. And it's also like when they're first coming at you, you have like a chance. But like when they get close, it's like, it's just relentless. And they get stuck on the walls, which just builds a bigger wall. Oh my God. Ah! Yeah, and then you like take, it's like a huge risk. Oh, it looks like the bomb resets when you get hit. That's good. Yeah, when you, if you oh no. You're effed. Now I'm in big... Uh, so that is tough. But I think more yeah. than one at a time on a lower level when they're slower would be good. Mm -hmm. And then it would give Start more to... room for ramping up. Totally. Yep. So let's move on. I think we've explored that one. I wish the electric worked, but it doesn't seem to work. So the next game... Well, don't worry about typos. Thrust, we don't mind at all. Yeah, it's fine. As long as we... It's no big we deal. We can what read. Saying. Okay, hold down the button. So this next one is uh, a set of three games because when Hunt. I... Hunt the Wumpus. Which one should I do? Oh, you said set of three, so... Yeah, let me look up which one came out first. Cool. Um, so Hunt the Wumpus... A uh, Wumpus Hunt is the first one that came out by Bob Montgomery. Okay, so this in one... In 2005. This yeah, one right here. So we should try one. this one out? Yeah. 2005, wow. Yeah, that's an early, early game. Let's find out what happens here. Okay, cool. Uh, he says, uh, here's a 2600 version of an old classic, Hunt the Wumpus, written in... Yeah. These old games, they... Uh... Oh, no leave it it'll come back okay okay it's funny it pops back on the chat before your tv yeah so what's the objective here uh, the objective is to kill a wumpus let me read about it um press reset to start a new game at which points you'll be placed in a random six by six dark cave with only your wits and two arrows what is happening? uh somewhere in that cave is a wumpus a pit and a bat 
I see. Your objective is to find the Wumpus and shoot him with an arrow. If you enter the same room as the Wumpus, he will eat you. Okay. If you enter the same room as the pit, you will fall in the pit this and die. This is what has happened here. You fell in a pit. Um, I guess it says fell in pit. I should. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, if you enter the same room as a bat, he will transport you to some other random room in a cave, and the bat will return to his roost. Do bats roost? Anyway. Note that almost every time that you move from <sighs> one room to another, the wumpus may also move. Did I just... He is immune to the effects of the pit just, and the bat. I just fell in the pit. Let me fell in the pit. So is there any way to know? Or is this just... Uh, it's like Minesweeper. Get to that. I think it's more like Minesweeper. See, there's stuff in the bottom there. Does that tell me anything? I think it does. Okay, we'll find out. Uh, you can move north, south, east, or west. You can fire an arrow in the same directions. Since you're in a dark cave, you might ask, how can you avoid stumbling into the pit? Yes, the tell the us. You just asked that. Perfect timing. Well, sight isn't the only sense you have to depend on. Okay. You know, you can smell the wumpus when he is in an adjacent room to yours. You can feel the chill air from the pit when it is in an adjacent room to yours. Okay. And you can hear the flapping of the bat's wings when it's in an adjacent room to yours. So that's the overview. Here's the details. Location is represent represented by a small figure of a man. Okay. Six by six grid. The rooms you have visited will be marked, obviously. Okay. The ones you haven't visited will be blank. Black. Uh, directly to the right of the map is the message area. When you smell, smell the wumpus, a W will appear. Ah. When you feel the chill of the wind from the pit, a P will appear. When you hear the bat, a B will appear there. So oh, if so you're next, so nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing. So oh, you're all this safe. is cool. And there's a bat, bat. but the bat so may somewhere. be any direction, north, south, east, or west. Oh, so, you know... You, yep, so now it's north, south, east. Oh. See, look, they're both bats. I think there's only one bat, so I think it's adjacent. I think it can be all um, eight directions. Oh, cool. So the bat so like... is... Oh, you know where the bat is now, yeah. right? Right below that middle one. So you can't go there. So that's like W, potentially. Yeah. So it's not there, but okay, so pit... Oh, the 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 wumpus... Oh, yeah, it's not there. Because see, the bat is right there. Yep. So you know where the bat is, so you can kind of clear out. And there's a pit, probably. Well, the right. pit can only be one spot, right? Right yeah. to the right of that. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely there. So, so then over here, pit's I think you took a. Oh, so, yeah, so yeah. So there's the bat. There's the pit. pit. You're good. They don't move. The wumpus can move. So don't get too crazy. Bam, bam. Do I do I need an arrow? Uh, don't shoot anything yet. So there we go. W. Yep. W. W. P. Oh, so, so he's. So I bet you he's in that middle one. Yes. To the right. Okay. So let me read how to fire. Move with the left joystick. Press the trigger and move the joystick to fire an arrow. If you don't have any arrows, pressing the trigger and moving the joystick will cause you to move. Okay. Uh, so the wumpus is one up and one over. I don't think so because I think oh. I think oh, he's, he's moving. Oh. Wumpus ate you. He was he was moving around. You got to be careful. Ah, oh, I see. Can't move too fast. I see. I see. Uh, Impaler says Tombstones was made in uh, Batari Basic, and this version of Wumpus is Batari Basic 2. Yes. Pit potential. So, yep. Yeah. So you can move when it's all clear without worries. Yes. But don't move too fast. The Wumpus can move. Oh, Remember? yeah, you're right. I think he can only move one spot That's per potential turn. Potential pit. Potential. Oh, see, he moved. <laughs> I see what's Your up. Your spare arrows are shown underneath the map. So those two red, red dots... Are your well now they're blue dots. I guess they go red when you die. Okay, oh, Wumpus. Minesweeper, but the mines move. Yeah, this is like Minesweeper with moving mines. Because he could be anywhere. Yeah, he could move to the left of you. Okay. Probably not. Uh, you begin with two arrows, but if you fire them all, don't despair. All is not lost. You may find some arrows left from previous unsuccessful hunters. Oh, you could find some arrows. Bam. No. No, no, no. You hold down the button, then move. Okay. Because you're moving and then... No, you missed. The Wampus was not there. Maybe he's... he's... Probably there. Do you think he's up? Up, yeah. Could have moved. Damn. Oh, he did move. Oh, now cool. you have no arrows, so now you have to find arrows. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Note on scoring. Your score is how many turns it took you to find the Wumpus. It takes one turn to move and one turn to fire an arrow. Fire an arrow, an arrow. Oh, okay. good. So you have one chance. Uh, what do you think I should do? <sighs> so crazy. I'm going to go left. Victory! Yay! Okay, so there is a, just, a, just a guessing element. Kind of. A little cool. bit of a guessing element. Okay, that's element. cool, man. I've never done anything like this before. Yeah. So I, I'm dead. I could be dead in the next move because yes. I started with a P. That's it right. could be any direction. You could just die. And I died. So that was a terrible first game. <laughs> a reset, please. Save, save, bat. Save, 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 save. Ooh, bat. Save. So the bat's there. Can I kill the bat or just avoid no, it? No, just avoid it. He's in the middle one. Because I'd be wasting my arrows. Cause Correct. As soon even as you... if I could kill a bat, it's not the goal of the game. Yeah, I think as soon as you see a W, I would just pick one and shoot. <laughs> yeah? Why not? Oh, now he's gone. See, he's gone. Because that's the thing is like... Now he's back. See, now, whatever move you do, he could beast there, right? Okay, he's up. Yay! Victory! Woo! Okay, that's this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna... I mean, there's not much. There's nothing else Should to we it. try the other both... versions? Yes, we're cool. gonna move on to the other versions. Okay, so cool. it'll be the same... Premise. Premise, know, but just slightly different. But different oh, graphics, cool. different way of playing it. Okay, the Wumpus. Let's change all those back. Okay, hold it down. Okay. So this is Hunt the Wumpus, or the other one was Wumpus Hunt. Um, so this is Hunt the Wumpus. This one. Okay, the this Bill is... version or the, the version? Uh, the Bill... Hold that down. Hold the button down for a second. Oh, sorry. No, just hold it down. Bill. No, it's still not giving me the full one. Um, yes. Okay. Let's find out. Okay, this one here. Oh, no. Wrong info. Whoa. So this one's a bit more interactive. This one actually, you actually move. So this one is done. This one is made by Bill. Okay, so there's something there, man. Collins. Let me just verify this because I think I have an error in my. Oh, you died. <laughs> That's a huge graphic. That, does... that is amazing. So it's the same premise. Whoa. Oh my god, so it's multi screen. It is deep. <laughs> oh. What's that? Run away? Uh touch it. <laughs> touch it. Oh, I shot an arrow. Oh. Wumpus killed you. Yeah, okay. This this is by Trogdor, aka Bill Collins. Uh, this is the first uh, Atari game I ever worked on. The project was started back in October 2003. This was far too ambitious for a first project, but now I've gotten more kernel coding experience. I revisited the idea of re rewriting the entire game from scratch. Hunt the Wumpus is one of those games that absolutely belongs in the Atari 2600 catalog of games. I'm amazed that it's never been implemented. Erlen needs less moves to kill the Wumpus, so he won. I think James did. I think on the last game, I I think he, I was although pretty quick, although you I might have done a quick one though. Did I do a quick one? I won't. I won't take uh, away my own victory. <laughs> That's right. If he said it, if, if Impaler we're says it, it, man, I win. We're gonna take it as, I will as gospel take that. there, right? This is cool. I definitely like the the graphics on this one are a lot well, more advanced. Well, the shapes of everything too, though, you know, is really neat. And this one's two thousand six. So there's like this green guy, right? I don't know what green means. Yeah, we will. Let me jump to that so that we know what's going on here. Because I sort of shot it. I went like <laughs> arrow, but I don't think that I just died every time I've done that so far. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you can't. Uh, can't kill him. You can't try and kill him. Unless I'm like prepared or something. Yeah. I don't know what, what the things mean though. I don't see what the colors mean in. See, like this green. I'm just gonna like touch it. No. I think it's indicators okay. of something. And I, I played this briefly, and there's different colored ones. I know. There's a green. There's red. Okay, there we go. Kill me. So I think those two greens 
connected together to a room that the Wumpus was in. So green is for Wumpus. I'll thrust this maybe only have one arrow. Yeah, that's Dude, a possibility. I think you're right. I think you're right, man. That's a vicious game, then. <laughs> you got one arrow. So this is red, right? Okay, the tough part is I'll just playing me. the glue. Cool. Cool. It's a red one? Yeah. And then, Still he just, and, then he, and then he killed me. I didn't even try to shoot an arrow, though, because now I'm scared with my one arrow. Uh, <laughs> The game will have 64 tiles and an 8x8 array. This will be displayed on four screens, 4x4 four four per screen. Uh, the may, more advanced version may have vertical scrolling, which will re only require two screens. A highly advanced version could have horizontal scrolling, but I'm fairly sure that would be impossible without a supercharger RAM. Um, supercharger version with larger rooms would be sweet, similar to advanced Dungeons & Dragons for Intellivision. Yes, actually... This looks a lot like AD&D for Intellivision, where it opens up rooms as you explore them. And it also reminds me of um, Ap uh, Temple of Apshai. See, I think you need to be in that room with the red bar to shoot the arrow, because you're uh, kind of in the middle. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. And also a good tactic would be if you run across a red bar, don't go to, just like in the other game, don't go to a room near the red bar. Go around and find oh, all the other rooms that connect to it. So green so you don't go there. to one anything connected to green. But okay. you can still, you're safe. So green? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're still safe. Green. Okay. So those will be an indicator. Green. Of where enemies are. Okay, so, um, oh, there must be something like above then. So I'm gonna go into the other game. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Green here too. Ooh. So don't don't oh. see you went beside a green. But I didn't know. You I can't do that. There's nowhere else. To, there's, <laughs> there was nothing else to do though. Yeah, you've explored everything. Oh, okay. So red. So red. So, should I just go in the room and shoot my arrow? No, because there's three directions. You'd be wasting it. So you want to eliminate. See, that's eliminated now. The left is eliminated, and now the right will be eliminated. Oh, it won't be. Not yet. So you want to eliminate. I see. And then you will know. Red. Okay, so he's probably in that corridor connecting those two. So if you go in there in and then shoot down. Shoot down. Yeah, you will be safe, I think, and you will get something. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, no. I th maybe it's a pit. Like, the colors... Yeah, I just don't know what the colors mean. But you're right. It seems to be, There's like... There's green color and red color. And the red was not... That was not the Wumpus. That was a pit or a bat, right? Yeah. So there's four levels to this. Level one, which you're playing, 40 rooms, 24 tunnels. Wow. Um, level four is 20 rooms, 44 tunnels. So more tunnels. Can uh, red, there's a red one. Let's see. But I couldn't find any, like, instructions about it, unfortunately. So we're going to have to just kind of figure it out. Slow. Red? See, no, red. So that's not a wumpus, but if you fire your arrow, it'll alert the wumpus to you and he'll come kill you. Okay. It's seemingly what's happening. No, I think you're still fine. You connect up to that um, that pathway that you you just found. Okay, so like keep this one here? Yep, that's fine. So you're totally okay. safe. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what you want to do is kind of surround that red area, nah. but I don't think it's a wumpus. Like, the red is not a wumpus. Because you fired your arrow. So there's a green now. So green might be Wumpus. So let's concentrate on the green. Okay, green oh. is there. Yeah, you're going to have to wrap around. And the screens wrap around vertically and horizontally. Yeah, so it's, it takes green here. Yeah. So, should so I... he could be there or there. So keep trying to surround the... Oh, go down again? How do those three connect up? Hmm. Very, okay. su very suspicious. Okay, let's... Yeah. I found some green and red stuff, though. Let's see what this one's like. Okay. See the red's there. I'm just yeah. curious what this looks like. Oh. Green. Oh. Green. Oh, so somebody is... Something's in the middle there. But, but and in the middle there? They I, may be should I multiple just, wumpuses? Should I go inside pits? and see... No, 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 you'll die. Should I fire my arrow? Yes. 
But I, but I, but I could die no matter what. Okay. Well, no what green is. Oh. So green is not the one because you. No, I, I accidentally went inside. I tried to oh, hold down. No. I tried to hold down the button and it just started. hold it down and press while holding down. Yeah. Don't so move. Screwed up. My turn. My yeah. Turn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, please, please, please. please. <laughs> Okay, let's get this Wumpus. Green. Right. So we're going to concentrate on green because we to fired be, on red. And, and it, it didn't seem to do anything. Green seems to be smart. Yeah. Green pits, maybe. Yeah, but green had two. How can there be two Wumpuses? It's one Wumpus. I know. And it's also like... Maybe red And then when bats. I moved into that red room, I died. I didn't actually shoot my arrow. So it's very po So that was the Wumpus was right there. So red is or like... Pit. Maybe. Red could be pit. And you die the same way every time. See, green and red. So red is to the right. Potentially. Most likely, but yeah. yeah. Try out, yeah. There. there, see, yeah. See, there's two, like all three of those can't connect together. Or they could, because could, this could. one could curve, right? That's true. I would fire, um, I mean, that's red, though. Green. That's... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> See, very weird, though, because there's also a green. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, there's look. multiple. So, oh, that could so connect that way. So green connects down. Try the, um, uh, try the one on, the, like, the far. Okay, cool. Wow. No. I'm going to have to go around a bit. Green's there. Go around some more. That just goes to there, right? Yeah. yeah. Go down. Yeah. No. So I'm going to open up, up. Open everything up here. I love this maze design. It's so awesome. Very few 2600 games have something like this. Yeah, this is neat. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a game, a 2600 game, have a maze like this where it opens up. Impaler loves that monster. Yeah, it's one That's of the really cool. biggest graphics I've seen. Okay, so we've eliminated a lot of directions for that green one. Yeah, there. let's see if you can... Interesting, interesting. Green's there. Hmm. Didn't get to explore that. Oh, where am I? Whoa, okay. So it's probably up. Because it looks like... Yeah, it is up. Whatever green is. Yes, let's see what happens. We've only encountered green and red. But... Like, there's multiple greens. I know. It's weird. Could those all three greens connect together? And That's all three reds connect together? Potentially. Have I discovered everything? So it looks like I've got everything. I'm just going to do a little traversal. Oh. Green are pits, maybe. Red seem more logical. Red does seem more logical. It does to me, too. Because green mm. just feels like... But then again, I walked into a green room and, and got killed. And a red room. Have you walked into a red no, room? No, I haven't walked into a red but room. But you're supposed to die on every one of them. Oh, that's a good right? point. And it's the same graphic, so it's just about... You know what I mean? I could have just walked into a pit. So what should I do? Green or red? Probably green. Uh, I guess try red. Red? Like, see if you can keep exploring around the red area. I mean, like, I, I would bet on red over green, especially because Thrust is saying red's more logical. I think we should go with... Uh... Red? Yeah, it does seem like red would be like, oh, monster. Yeah. It's... Well, let's go to the red area. Okay. Yeah. You know, like, it's so feels... All those are going to I feel up. like it's up. Yeah. <clears throat> that feels to me right. Okay. So let's get next to it, I guess. And what is happening? I know this is the challenge I had. Or try, I try like. Am I? At... I can't shoot. We're going to it really quickly. Oh. So it is red. Yes. Okay. Okay. You kill... okay good. Out. Okay. Good. So this is level two. Yes. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh man, that was stressing me out. <laughs> Yeah, the firing mechanism is is not great. Yeah, yeah, you could see how, why I, I wasn't yeah. able to shoot that one. So time that's that what, just... where the confusion came in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is good to know though. Red. Red is the monster. Logic wins. It wins every time. <laughs> it thrust. Does. Oh. oh, see, we found a red. That's cool. Awesome. Okay, yeah. One direction's eliminated. And we got it.
Not necessarily. So what? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, we should have we should have like, done a little bit more navigating. You just Maybe. never know because because there's oh. some curve, right? But you you went you you you, you made you took a risk. Yeah. So level two for you. Okay. Let's try that. Look at see the eyes. That's cool. Yeah, really cool. See red is there, so now I can pop up here. Yeah. Maybe you have to explore all the options. Oh, you should connect up that that bottom thing down so that you know. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's marked three by three. Hmm. Oh boy. That was risky. <laughs> but I don't know what to do, right? Because like... Are you stuck? Well, no, but it's like, it's all a risk. Because this one, one of these could be the Wampus. What about up? Did you... And then there's more up there. But yep. then but then this Look one's up. a potential there's, green. You could go up there. There you go. There it opens up the maze. <laughs> Not completely stuck. You're very close to being stuck. <clears throat> yeah, I think we need to, like, figure out all the pathways first. First. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That was risky. And then we'll definitely know whether he, he's in a... Because he could be in a room or a corridor, I think. So see, that's an interesting thing, right? Cause... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it did say that there's more corridors and less rooms as you go up the levels. Wow, okay, that makes sense. So that makes it harder so, to like, do logic. So, like, this is messed up because, like, hold on, <clears throat> hold on. Oh, there's, actually, no, if this more. is, um, oh, you know what I mean? This has to be it. Yeah, I wouldn't get that close because... How do you... How do you get away from it a bit because you just like you have to do both at the same time <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know i, I don't wish know. there was instructions that felt like that felt like a good bet yeah it did seem like that it's just opening up the maze Oop. scary very scary. Red. Red and red. And green. Oh boy. It doesn't seem like the Wumpus moves. No, so it's a in bit of a In this game because those bars don't move. Because that other one ha was just like totally right, Minesweeper, with where the mines move. It's like. Yeah. Which is. <coughs> Sorry. Which is scary. It is. <laughs> like, I'm uh, not gonna lie. It's scary. It's things like are moving around. Okay. Yeah, it's just this feeling of like I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, it's it is better to like it's like a Sudoku. You do all the letters yes. you know, but in this case, it's all the ones you know don't have a thing connected. <laughs> yeah. And then you just have to like at a certain point, it feels like you just take a risk. Yeah. You know, at a certain point, you go, ah. You just got to go for but it. But you just want to get as much information as possible, it seems to be sort of the aim, right? This does make it a lot more difficult. Because, yeah, now you want to check out these. I bet you they'll loop up, though. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It's cool, because you got to. Oh, there we go. Oh, neat. Oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh. Down, maybe? Yeah. Yep, there's some yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> it looks like there's another path down up yeah, there. Yeah, just see. I oh, don't know. There isn't. I don't think that's going to... Have I done everything? Maybe to the left? That's where I just was. Yeah, because there's long corridors now, and they can be in, he can be in those corridors. That's right. I think I'm done. I think I've explored everything. And this so is where you just take a risk, right? Red. You ask yourself, do you want to fire an arrow, or do you walk, want to walk into it? <laughs> That's, that is the question. So right? there and there. So I would probably to wager the right. to the right. That would yeah. be my bet. <laughs> Yay! Level yeah. two completed. 
three is supposed to be a lot more windy passages on this level. That makes sense. Let's just try and complete a whole area and then move on. Because that's probably... Okay. Yeah, if you open up a whole area and then that makes it a lot easier. There's a little bug there. shows on the top there. That's all explored. Everything's happening at once. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm leaving Did the you room. Just phone me? <laughs> it, was, it was a bait and switch. Yeah. Oh, was. one. Just one ring. Must have been a spammer. Spammer. Voice spammer. Because my phone is set to just block calls that match lists of oh, spammers. Yeah. I, After one ring. I, I keep getting uh, like calls and they're like, and the audio will switch between like Cantonese and English. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because uh, a lot of Asian uh, Canadians live um, in Vancouver. So it's like, I guess if they're just firing out calls, they're going to do both. Yeah, but that's I'm, a scam. They're threatening you with your visa deportion, deportation. Oh, that's brutal. It's terrible. What nice. a horrible thing to do. Yeah. It's very Canadian right now. <laughs> yes. It's a very Canadian <laughs> sort of thing. And they um, they say, oh, give us money and we won't come and arrest you. And you have to go, like, get money. Or wow. they used to do it in iTunes cards, which was the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. But well, yeah. What were they doing iTunes cards? Because just... they're not traceable. You go buy an iTunes card from a store and you just... You know, you send it to them. You read out the number. That's... And it's, and it's non-traceable, right? Wow. And you buy, you know, $100 in iTunes. <laughs> and then they sell that card, right? They don't use it. They ah. sell They sell $100 for $50 and, you know, launder it. So it's... Wow. So they turn it around. They sell it on, you know, Craigslist or And it's crazy because with these, like, or... with these scams, it's like maybe, like, yeah. one person it works on... <laughs> Yeah. Right? And yeah. Then, and then he pays off. Yep. Oh, it's boy. a numbers game. I think I'm screwed. Who knows? You just got to take a risk at a certain point. See, there's a red, and then there's another one that's so far apart from it. Let's see. Let's see. But it could be like a passageway all the way there. There you go, right? But that red's down and to the right. What I might do, uh, if, I oh, no, it's just if down. I were to wager it's down. a suggestion. Yeah. There's that. There was a green one that I might have taken a risk on, but it, oh. no matter what, you gotta take a risk. I think I'm gonna fire down. Fire down. <laughs> nice arrow too. That's yeah, really animation. cool. Oh. Okay. Should we try number three? Yes, we're gonna move on to game number three. That is, that's a great one. That's yeah, that's a, a cool. One. That's if a cool I just had game. better instructions for it. Oh, um, the third level, the third game. Oh, third oh, game. Third game. I think we figured that one out. Definitely. To its extent. And that's an older game. Um, oh, I'll, I'll bump over so that you're not so <laughs> yeah, much squished on the edge. over to the side. Um, so it is... This one, this right? This one. This one's a newer one, 2017. And this is also Hunt the Wumpus. I've learned a, a lot of Wumpus <laughs> lore. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Hold on, so hold this on. Is graphic enhancement, but... Now it's more like the first one again. So this one's like done by the Max, and it was done in 2017. Um, this one has, like, next to no instructions. Hey, Mr. Fix. Uh, we just played a few games. It's been fun. Oh, and then it went, Whoa! Wumpusing, man. Nice. This is the third version of Wumpus that we've been trying. And this is uh, the third game. Yes. We played Fade Out, oh, it's bad. Tombstones, Two Hunt the Wumpuses, and now we're on the third Hunt the Wumpus, then we'll be moving on to the red. stacks. Okay, okay, okay. Red. So this one was programmed by the Max, Green. and this is 2017. Red. Okay, dude. I'm feeling like... And it was posted on March 4th. Um, the controls are reset switch, reset the game. There. Fire begin be game, prepare bow. Okay, how do I... Joystick move the hunter and... Oh, is it here? How, oh, do I, oh. how, do I, how, how do I shoot in this Same one? thing. Hold down the button... And then direction. So that wasn't it. <laughs> Damn. Because it looked like there was a red and a red, and there was two paths. Yeah. Okay. So you, picked, you randomly picked one of the two. Green. 
I feel like is a thing. Red's there. Okay, so get the yeah, hell we'll out do of that. there. Do that. Oh, okay, that eliminates one of them. This is, a, this is like a mixture of the two games. Yeah, oh, see, red is there now. Oh, interesting. This one has nice death animation. Very nice. Chomp, 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 chomp. The other one had really nice death animations, too. This one's a little bit more colorful. So you're safe. Now you're safe to go to the left on that one. That eliminates that. Cool. Pit's there. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. There's a lot of reds. Maybe the, the colors are switched, and green is the one on this one. Oh, bad. But a bat doesn't kill you. It just transports you. Does it? Apparently. According to the rules of the other one, there's no rules. Do you think transporting is just resets you? Yeah. It's like a new thing. Okay, so. Um, credits, he says, goes to Batari, J. Weirer, Ice Bosta, Random oh. Terrain, Revenge, Bogax, J. N. Silva, S. N. Silva. Bad, man. Probably a dozen more that I can't think of right enough. now. Maybe this was posted on a different thread, or maybe he was... This was also um, programmed in Batari Basic. So this is just a single screen. What did you go? Left or right? Right, but it's just bats. But it said it was been, safe. This bat's been messing with me, man. <laughs> this bat is just like, gets at me every time. So the bat every is just, time. it doesn't warn you about the bat then. Okay, so we got this, I don't know, this green. I don't know what's up with green. I think green's green. a pit. Let's see bats. So bet there's no warning with bats. So basically at any point, the screen will just reset. <laughs> and and transport you. Okay, oh so boy. that's just messed up. You're in trouble now. Literally in trouble. Like you are got to take a risk. Which one? What do you think? I... I'm going to go right, I think. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, we know what the green. I, you know what? See the greens? There's more reds, and there should be only one Wumpus, right? So I would fire upward, hold down the button, press up, and it looked like it went to the right. Did you? I pushed up though. Oh, like God. he turned and fired to the right. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's James takeover. <laughs> but that just might be the animation of it. He only looks like he fires to the right. Although logic says red. It does. Like last. Look at all the reds. I don't know about that. Very suspicious. Oh, am I exhausted everything? Oh, what? no. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am done. Look at all the reds. What do you think? Fire into the sort of... Left or right on the green? It's up to you. So you can activate... Oh! You press the button to activate it. You don't have to hold it. Okay. So I'm going to go not, well, not left, not down. And there's no up, so it has to be right. Try it and see what happens. What? Pumpus. I like the animation of this one the best. I think out of the three, this is probably this is like... awesome. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But I think, they are, I think the second one... Actually, they all have good things going for them. Second this one is... had a nice title screen. Yeah, and, and, and the maze, multiple screens. Yeah, that was that amazing. That's very cool. I feel and you like... had freedom of movement. I think the I think the second one's actually probably my favorite one because that think one so too. that one was the most like this is tough because of the, like it's also teleporting. I don't like that like you can randomly hit bats. <laughs> they just like <laughs> yeah. mess with your whole game. Like the, and there's no indication. I should, I should warn you about the. The bats. first one feels like it's such more like it's a bit of a dice roll. It's like an RNG thing where you're like, well, he's moving, so let's just I shoot. I like the moving. Uh, that's kind of it makes a really difficult and intense. Yeah, versus like the other one is like a and logic fun. puzzle, which I kind of like. I like that. Try firing up. I just yeah, but there's only one green and multiple reds again. Well, here we go. Here's the thing, though. It's very possible oh, that, like, I oh, I'm going to point it. Oh. But I can't because no one will see it on the chat. <laughs> oh, what? you I, fired I, it. I don't know. I'm going to go again. Hmm. I think we'll go red this time. Because... Yeah. See, oh my this is what I mean. The bat messes with you, man. Oops. Every time. Um... Let's 
see, let's see. Oh, see that? Oh, this was what happened to me a bunch. I did. And then you fucked. <laughs> did I press it? I think I just did. Have we have we killed the Wumpus once in this game? No, I don't we think haven't. So. so the bat just just messes with your shit oh all day. Oops. It does. <laughs> it just kind of resets everything. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Like it should transport you to another place on the map. Yeah, like that would be cooler. Map. Are these games still in development at all? This one is newer. The other ones are very old. Yeah. Like 2004, 2005. Makes sense. Or six. Uh, this one is 2017. Well, this guy's definitely like a character. Like, look at this. This, yeah. this guy's like, he looks like Homestar Runner. He's just like... <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's like... God. He's got his little, like... I feel like this could be Homestar. He's got a hat. He's got a bow and arrow. He's got a bow and arrow. So this is the thing that fascinates me. I wonder Simpsons what is up with this Wumpus. Because the Wumpus is like, there's a unifying Wumpus thing. Wumpus is a monster and you got to kill him with an arrow. Yeah, I'm going to look up. I wonder what oh this my God, lore is. is. Risky. I'm going to look up the lore in a second where the Wumpus comes from. Yeah, like maybe it's like a child's like... I ran out of, ran out of time... Because I was preparing the Atari Awards announcement. Dude, I bet you it's <laughs> like, like it's, it's like that. Oh no! Why? Miserfix is like another game full of frustration. Yes. Yeah, it's true, man. The Wumpus messes Why with you. Why did that? What? There was no warning. I went from a room that had no color. Okay. Here. I'll look up lung, uh, Wumpus, Wumpus lore. Okay, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try and do something. Try and kill the I Wumpus. I want to defeat this Wumpus. Rest. I don't think this game is fully been tested. <laughs> well, it's something. just it's hard to like know like 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 look at this like what is going on? We've got this red here. Red there, red there, red there. And like look at this. So this one's here. Like I mean, is what we could do? Is oh, hold on, hold on. Intentionally, hold on, die. hold on. No, check this out. Because this guy teleports you up, right? Yes. These two, I don't know what they do. Then that one teleports you down. So I'm thinking that it's like down from either here or here. Yeah. I um, think so. It's all a risk though. So well, we should we should find out what red and green do. Yes. So let's just die on purpose okay. on a green. No. Oh, this is bad. Reset. Man. Look at this. Bad bad is messing with my stuff, man. So Hunt the Wumpus is an early computer game. Based on a simple hide and seek format featuring a mysterious monster, a Wumpus. Bass it was Bass first Bass. made in 1975. 1975. On Basic, yeah. What's Basic? Uh, it's a programming language. Ah, uh, cool. It's like what one of the higher level ones, which means it's more like English language. It's very straightforward, easier to program. Like this equals that. Add this to that. Like. Blah, 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 plus equals that. If, then, kind of thing. It's just really simplified. Um, it's like logic. Yeah. Syllogisms. I think it's a text game. Let's see. Okay. No, that's the instructions. I'm going to look up a graph. This is beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code. There we go. Hey, Mr. Fix. Thanks, Thank dude. Thank you very much. Adventure Bat on steroids. <laughs> Adventure Bat. Is that a game that I don't know? Is it a reference? Sounds like it. So, what was that one? Red? I just, or yeah, green? I, I was red. Okay. So, you went into it. I did. So, red is the Wumpus. Okay, okay. We are green gonna, is. We are gonna now, try, it, try green. Try and die on a green. It's going to be a pit. I bet it's a pit. And if it's a pit, then we know. Green. Okay. Let's. Okay, Yay, green is pit. a pit. Okay, cool. Red is a wumpus. Boom, boom, we fire boom. into the red, just like last time. I am gonna just, I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm, we are beating a wumpus today. We I'm gotta gonna, get gonna, the wumpus. I'm gonna play rapid fire. Okay, oh, so what, what do you think? Well, it's to the right, most likely. What the hell? Ah, oh, it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna get this guy. We're gonna get this guy. Yeah, it's originally in text, the oh. original game. So what you're like you, left, what you, right. What do you do with something like this? Shoot or move. Zap. You know what I mean? Like, this is rough. Oh, green and red. <laughs> uh, look at this, look at this layout. You're done. Uh, like, you have to guess. Everything or shoot. is. Okay, there you go. Now you've opened it up a more. Okay, cool. Look at this. Well, it didn't really help. Initial release date, 1972. Wow. What does it say, 75? Weird. Somebody updated it. 
first mentioned in 1973. Dead. So, gameplay. Uh, I just got, this is like three bats in a row. The player enters the game, entering commands to move through the rooms to sh shoot crooked arrows along a tunnel into one of the adjoining rooms. <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. <laughs> I want to I kill a, a bat. So he lives in tunnels, not rooms. Oh. So that might be that's another our, thing. So thing. if a, a room joins a room without a tunnel, he's not in that. He has to be in a tunnel. Oh, pit. The bat me is messing with you, man, yeah, Mr. Fix says. Yeah, he's messing with my shit. This bat is just the worst. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what we were missing. The Wumpus lives in tunnels. Not in rooms. Okay. Once again. So we have to look for a pattern that is a tunnel, not just a adjoining left right room. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep. See? <laughs> oh no, go right. Still have some. No, not that air. Ah! That was lucky. I meant up and right. There. Oh, I thought you were like. <laughs> ah, reset. <sighs> oh, this bat is just. It's, it's like restarting the game from nothing. It does. Like, it's just like a random reset. It's just an annoyance. Oh, my God. This bat. The bat should teleport you back to <laughs> this, this another another place it. where you already discovered. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, okay, okay, okay. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to fire to the left. Mm, no, I wouldn't fire. I think that's a waste. I would go up from the top red. Because it's going to be down. It's going to be a gonna be um one of the tunnels oh my god <laughs> we had like a good layout we gotta kill uh, one wumpus before we can go to the stacks we got to we have to kill one we have to oh hits i'm just dying every day okay <laughs> okay yeah let's i'm just fully oh, okay now go back to there i think it'll be in the corridor between those two reds, up in the top right. So go down, go to that red. Um, it's gonna be hard to figure out which one that is, um, but I will find it. Okay. I think it's gonna be the corridor in the top there, up. Like this? Yeah. Okay, you, you give it a go. Let's get this wumpus, oh man. Oh my god. We managed to kill the wumpus and the other ones. We did. And, and pretty soon the bat is gonna come. Oh man, this is a tough game. It's like cute, like it's a cute little animation. Yeah. Little do they know that you're going into hell and you'll be reset by bats every three Constantly. seconds. There's going to be pits on every turn. And as soon as you think you know where you are, bat, boom. <laughs> Look at all these. Where is this possibly? Hold on, so this How? one connects somewhere. Connects the to those bottom... two? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm like... thinking that, I'm thinking it's right there. Yeah. I just well, pointed he's not at the in TV. a room. No. I don't, I don't, yeah, right? I'm Same. like, they're like, oh, he just pointed somewhere random on the screen. Maybe f just like, oh, God. Like down? I don't from know. From there? That's my gut. Oh. Gotta kill a wumpus. We have to. <laughs> the bat. The bat. Appears again. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be up from there. Bam. Okay, up again. Wraps around. Bat messes with their stuff. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing. Oh, the bat! <laughs> the bat every time. Okay. Oh, constantly. We have to. The thing that's so frustrating is if we kill a wumpus, I feel like it's just random. It's not actually. We haven't like strate strategized our way through yet. Left. Just... No. I don't get it. I almost feel like as soon as we see a red fire reset. Pretty like, much. Because it almost feels like that level. Like it just seems. Because the thing is, is, every time you move, you could be reset by the bat. See? So it's like. Yeah. That's why I prefer. I think the second one's my favorite. Because yes. it's just. It's, straight, it's the more most strategic. Like yes. you feel like. And you feel like when you've killed it, you've like deducted something. Yeah. You like Sherlock you Holmes out a this guy. Instead of. This is like. Every turn feels like you're going to like turn into a bat or something i just feel like, like how do they connect look at those two red ones how do they possibly connect they, they don't it's they like, only connect through there it's like uh, what 
What? what? What is... What is happening? Shoot... Is this his realm? I feel like it must be. Maybe shoot to the left? I don't know. It could be any of these. <gasps> Dude! Oh, finally! Oh, look at that animation. That was awesome. But but again, it's just random. Like why? Why, like, why did we there? get him this time and not any other times? Oh, this Wumpus, man. I don't get this game. There wasn't any instructions or I, I couldn't find them in the forums. Okay. Oh, okay, we defeated You kill it. Thank you, Mr. Fix. Okay, we've... We've finished oh, that game. Wow, that like, took something out of me. I don't oh, know why. Oh, my goodness. That was brutal. Thanks, Mr. Fix. Nice shot. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's move on. Okay. Not to this. <laughs> the Hall of the Mountain King has, mm. has never felt more haunting. Yes. So we're going to play the, the stacks. original stacks first. Oh. Okay. Don't start it yet. I won't. So what... Let me move on to my notes. So many notes today. So the original game was made in... Original game of the stacks was made in 2012 by Mike Mika and Kevin Wilson. It was made in anticipation of the paperback release of Ready Player One. Nothing to do with the movie at all. Okay. This was before... Or maybe mm -hmm. while he was signing for the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this was... F let me see. Okay. This was for made for a contest, this game, in 2012. It was... As, as it follows in the book, um, you have to find three keys, and yeah. then you win the game. It's a video game. Yeah. Like... And, and the whole book was based... A lot of it was based around video games, nostalgia... Makes sense. Uh, movies all in the 80s because, you know, that's now. It's the era of the 80s, reborn again and nostalgia and, and people, you know. Stranger my, things. Yes, and all that. It's a huge resurgence. And it. So he, he went, he had perfect timing with the book um, with all this 80s resurgence. Mm -hmm. um, so as it happened in the book, he made a contest in real life where you had to pass three different tasks to win the prize and the prize was a delorean get okay an that's, actual car that's badass <laughs> okay i'm that's amazing yeah um, i saw a delorean at one point in real life yeah. like driving on the road no not in oh. driving but in like a museum well, that doesn't count because yeah. <laughs> i put there on purpose yeah because yeah, when i saw it in like it's pretty Italy. rare to see it on the road yeah i, I swear i saw one but i can't remember it, might, it would have been a while back. There's, it's very rare because they're oh, yeah. notoriously terrible cars. <laughs> 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 very expensive to fix and all yeah. that. Super cool looking. Obviously, that's why they chose it for Back to the Future because it was kind of new around that yeah. time. And it's like, oh, this looks like a futuristic car. Let's put it Once in Once again, 80s nostalgia. It's like it's just this nostalgia machine. Yes. So the first part of the contest was winning this 2012 Atari 2600 game. Because there's a lot of Atari 2600 in the book. Um, yeah, in the movie, I, I sort of picked up on that too. Yeah. Although they barely show it. They talk <laughs> about it, but they don't show Thrust it. Thrust is like, DeLoreans belong anywhere except road. It belongs in a museum! <laughs> That's right. It does. Yeah. yeah. Not on the road. Uh, so, uh, da, da, da. Ready Player One Easter Egg Hunt was elaborate. Once readers found the URL hidden in the hardcover or paperback versions wow. of Klein's novel, the link took them to the video game. So you had to solve a puzzle first in the book. That's some meta stuff. Yeah. I'm on board with this. This is cool. Um, the link took them to the video game called Stacks. The Stacks. After completing... And the Stacks in the book and the movie... I watched the movie last night in preparation. Mm -hmm. Didn't help at all. Just made me upset. <laughs> um, I think I probably like the movie more than you did. Yeah. Um, in the movie and the books, the stacks is where the protagonist lives. Yeah. It's literally a stack of trailer homes vertically into yeah, the Yeah, and they're sky. all like tuning into these like three this 3D. What is it? The Oasis is the Is the, the a virtual reality world that everybody lives in almost pretty yeah. much. And they make money in. 
Yeah, and like your currency is all connected to. Yeah, virtual currency has some value in the real world. What? Or maybe it doesn't. Well, maybe. in the sort of like the movie, it almost suggests that it's like more valuable. But yes. I mean, from a lot logistical perspective, there's no way that would be the case. <laughs> but no. uh, but I'm like, I'm no. watching a movie. It's okay. Yeah, or they know? just have to grind and, and make enough to yeah. make it worthwhile. Um, after completing the first gate, the winners would have... So after the first gate is the is the game, the Atari 2600 game. The winners would have to play a new Facebook video game created by the legendary developer Richard Garriott uh, de, de Caillou. Wow. Um, after that, that's the guy who made Ultima, the Ultima series. Cool. Um, which has turned into a massive multiplayer online game. Originally, it was a it, it was a you know turn based. Uh, RPG game. Yeah. Amazing. I awesome like turn based game. games a lot. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy games are fun. Um, after completing the second gate, the third and final challenge, which was unbelievable that they even put this in, was to set a new world record for Pac Man or Joust, uh, or Pac Man, Joust Arcade, Joust Atari 2600, Black Tiger, which I hadn't heard of. Or Robotron 284. So any of them, you, if you could do the world record, you get your thing. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why you included Pac-Man, because the world record is a perfect game, which has already been set, so you can't beat that Yeah. That score. Maybe a time record, maybe? A world record for finishing maybe. perfect... In, like, these are that's, insane. Yeah, the, and those... Yeah, I mean, that's like a, like a literally lifetime dedication yeah. to sort of do one of those. Yeah, it is. Literally a lifetime. It's like, just compose a, a Beethoven concerto. So uh, it's more like some, somebody who was already good at those games would have to kind of play this. Do this thing, do this yeah. Thing. So the winner was Craig Queen, and his final prize was a vintage DeLorean awarded for setting the new world record for his score in Joust Atari 2600, which is the most probably achievable out of all those, which was the only 2600 game involved. All the rest were arcade games. Yeah, and how do you... It is, it is no chance. Plugging quarters <laughs> in and being no like... No chance. I mean, you could practice on MAME. Yeah, Depends unless you had your own, but I don't know who had their own thing around... You, you can do an emulated version, but I don't know if you could in or the, is in that the legit? contest. I don't know. I don't know. Just eight days after the terms for the third gate, gate was established. So he beat a world record in eight days of playing. Unbelievable. I mean, I guess if you got the incentive. Yeah. But he didn't even know it's, what it was. No, he, he knew the prize. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He knew the prize, so. Somewhere I read that a third of the DeLoreans have been turned into time machine lookalikes. That's probably that sounds, true. That sounds about right, man, because that's they the only reason. They probably had flux capacitors put that's, into them. That's right. <laughs> or, or they, they what is the next one? The Mr. 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 Fusion? That's yeah. right. So in the second movie, it was Mr. Fusion was put in. Or no, it, at the end of the first, Mr. Fusion was put into it. And then it could fly and everything. So it depends which one. We're going. We don't need roads. That's right. So let's... Um, well, the 2012 version, I don't think we need to look at it. Okay. Because the the newer version is like a super set. Of oh, so it's the like... 2012. It's like riffing on it. It's like playing that yeah. first Pac-Man and then the second one. It's like same game, just but the second one looks better. So I don't think there's any, and any, anybody else that out there can go look at the two. Okay, cool. They don't. They don't. So we'll go right to. Um, oh, before you do it, yeah, lots of stuff there. Um, let me talk about the game first. Cool. The Stacks is a platform game for Atari. This is the 2012. Okay. For the Atari 2600 console created in 2011 by Mike Mika and Kevin Wilson based on the novel by Ernest Cline, Ready Player One. It's a rip-off of an old pitfall combined with Donkey Kong or Burger Time. It really doesn't look like any of those. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Maybe Burger Time a little bit where you climb things. Uh, where you have to navigate through a vertical maze of trailers, collecting junk computers, snagging food voucher power-ups, and avoiding meth addicts and pedophiles... Wow. And that wasn't in the film. On your way to collect all pieces of a puzzle. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's no pedophiles or what are you? Uh, what are you playing junkies. there, there uh, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, I'm just dodging meth heads and, and pedophiles. Ex excuse me, what? <laughs> what did you say? It's just like, it's just pixels on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, That's crazy. That's cool. 
so in the Atari Age forums, when it was re just after it was released, uh, one of the developers talked about the game um, because Thomas Yentz, um, Thrust26, said, I suppose the game had to meet a tough deadline, and for that it's done pretty well. Because okay. there's glitches and stuff and weirdness. Um, and the guy who developed the game said, Ha, huh, oh no, somebody posted about it. Yeah, we were trying to make it and ship games at our day job, so it was very little time. We were wary of anyone bringing, up, bringing it up on Atari Age, because they look at things very intensely and scrutinize and go, Oh, you yeah, could have done this yeah. and this, and, and here's how you could have fixed it. Which is great, but... That's... They wanted it to be a surprise, so they couldn't talk about yeah, it before the contest. Um, not until we managed to fix, uh, fix it up. We view the current version as the contest version. We mm. worked by priority until hours before launch. Wow. Thomas nailed the feature set that remi remains. So Thomas did a... Um, he suggested a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So the movie must be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, randomized distribution of... This is what he wanted... Um, the developers wanted to add into the game. Yeah. Um, randomized distribution of p puzzle pieces, burgers and floppies. So in the game, they're all in the same spots. Uh, maybe following a certain pattern to, to avoid too much randomness. Uh, we planned on doing this, but no, could not get to it. Weighing the bug testing versus time made us drop it. In reality, we were tagging rooms as puzzle potential, and it would pick from 20 of them. So it was a little bit random. Uh, the idea was to be a little bit like an impossible mission, um, which uh, Tanya loves that game, and she has completed it a number oh, of times. Oh, I remember times. she was talking about it's it. All about, it. That is what it mostly reminds me of. Okay. Is collecting puzzle pieces in different rooms with different challenges to get to them. Um, but that was never released on the 2600 because it's really complicated. I, yeah. It'd be hard. It'd be very hard to do. Well, she said, I don't, re I, I, if I remember correctly, she only beat it once. Once? Oh, okay. I remember she said, and she played like that game like crazy. It's hard. It's hard. And, like she dedicated herself to it, which uh, is. Yeah. They wanted to randomize the enemy movement. Um, interiors were last. The enemies did not get the variety they really needed. They also have display problems, sprite corruption on the right-hand side of the enemies, timing issues, etc., etc. Uh, add, to add several stages, this new version of it has four stages, yeah, uh, instead of just the one. Uh, with a smaller, start with a smaller maze and increase after you beat this stage. More speed and randomness at higher levels. We originally had three stages: small, medium, and large, and you can play them front to back or select. And uh, the only way to get to the secret would be to complete and unveil the hidden message on level three, an homage of sorts. Currently, you can only jump over things, maybe add flying objects you have to duck. Cool. Uh, more in different enemies. You had a, a variety of enemies planned based on keystone capers. Uh, maybe add a timer that runs down. Oh, God, a timer and having to collect puzzle pieces. Uh, originally planned on being a, a, the score being a timer. For the contest, the game was really hard, so we made the score serves no purpose. Yeah. Less extra lives. Oh, the burgers give you extra lives. Because of the challenge more casual players were encountering, we overused the burgers. Add more sound. Like my day job, audio got neglected until it was too late. Uh, he says uh, uh, no many more stages, just four variations. Not many more stages. So we, yeah. So this version has four stages. Okay, cool. And it looks like there's also a randomization that is just. We'll get to that. Okay, okay. Um, other notes: fixing all, fixing all the timing issues, adding a black hole, uh, pitfalls where the ladders are, fix, fixing timing display, the ladders drive me crazy, adding more musical stabs, uh, require a certain score to unlock the master secret, or go back to a timer. The title screen was supposed to descend to the player on the ground, and you'd start outside the stacks, maybe return to that. Optimize the code. It's sloppy and hacked. Um, anyhow, anyway, anyhow, glad some people thought it was amusing. It needs a lot of work. It was really fun to make. I'm happy with the results in the short time we had. I could not have done it without Thomas's code sample. So Thomas's help, Thomas helped uh, develop the original one. Wow. I didn't know that. Um, the programming forums here, humbling, humbling, and Slocum's info. Um, mentioned Slocum earlier. Um, oh, we couldn't talk about it, obviously, because it was related to a contest, so they couldn't post about it at all. 
so they really couldn't get a lot of help and input. Which is tough, man. Yeah, because otherwise people would play it early. Oh, he said, no, out. I did not. He just used some of my code. Oh, my old okay. Code. Okay, so cool. So you didn't know about it. Well, that's the awesome so thing they... to have thrust here, man. To sort yeah. of let us know what's up. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't engage folks here, which would have been the ideal way to make the game. But contest, you can't reveal anything because it would give it away. Yeah. Also, we're using an iPhone and cuddle cart to check it on hardware on a TV that made everything seem sort of fine. Only later after the first carts did we notice issues. We joked about it to comfort ourselves. We're basically like a data age game, not as good as Activision or a Magic, but definitely not a Mythicon game. Tears. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start the game. Cool, which one should I do? 2016. Uh, this one here? Yes. Yeah. So this is the newest version that Thomas Jentz has given to me. Um, so at the top, you can see, you can select from level one, two, three, four. And it looks like those are randomized codes there. Yeah, like every time pop you... up, it's different ones. Cool. S so to ra randomize the maze, or not the maze, but the rooms and the items in the rooms, if if um, Thomas can verify. Oh, that. this looks beautiful. Cool. Wow. Vertical um, parallax scrolling, which you almost Whoa. never see vertical parallax I scrolling. I, I can jump. Yeah. This is a very noisy game. I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. Whoa. Okay, that's okay, a good level. So, yeah. I'm, 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 don't I'm, hit. I made some mistakes. Those already. are the junkies. They don't look like junkies, but they're junkies. <laughs> this is the meth, meth addicts. Yeah, watch out. So, you have to collect puzzle pieces. Oh my God, okay. By going into rooms, you can go into the rooms with the doors. And those are the different houses of people. The stacks. This is the stacks. Vertical stacks. I see. Okay, so like, what's this? Do you think? Let's find out. That's. I think that's just points. points. Okay. And the burgers are extra lives. You'll need them. So this, this guy's. Is a brutal this guy's game. gonna pop by. And so yep, is this so go one in. That I can go. There you go. So some points. It doesn't do anything for you. I don't think there's extra lives at a great jumping sound. Okay. Don't face this guy. Turn around. Don't face him. That's the pervert. Now go past him. As long as you don't face him while he's doing that. <laughs> well, this is a crazy game! These are hard. You're going to die. Because <laughs> they turn around and come back. <laughs> Those floppy disks look great. Yes, Whoa. they do. Okay. Wow, this is quite an upgrade from the version that I have played. Nice. Yes, quite a lot of enhancements okay, from this. this. Is, uh, okay, I'm not even going to fuck with those things. So now I'll read a little bit about what Thomas has done since the 2012. Okay, cool. Um, so somebody asked, have you been, obtained permission from the original programs to improve the game? And this is Albert uh, Yoruso replying back that runs Atari Age. He says, yes, in fact, Daryl Spice Jr. and especially Thomas Yentz have put in a great deal of time and effort into the game, fixing some issues. Oh, how do you do this? It's not like, wait, go back a little bit. Okay, now wait till the second one goes back and run after it. Never run. And then jump, and then jump, and then run. And I then jump, see. jump, 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 oh, at the last second. Oh, wow, okay. But you so have to follow it here. immediately. The second now, one goes. Now cool. you're too late. Go back. <laughs> you're going to have to jump, jump. No, no you're right. You follow it immediately. Holy cow. Um, plus, Rindle the Red has created a, tons of new graphics for the games as well. We're at a point now where we need to bring in some additional play testers and to get feedback where we can further polish the game. And that's what we're doing now. Okay, cool. Is, is doing some play testing. Not in, intense. We'll probably come back to this game a little bit later and another show to do. <laughs> that's all you get. Some oh points. my god. <laughs> Whew. Okay. But the animation is we're, great. We're the going floating. we're going back, boys. It's the same thing, same pattern. I know, I know. It's okay, cool. Boom. Oh, bad timing the jump. Okay, at least you're past it now. Back. One room, we made it through. Okay. Um, from Rindle the Red, who worked on some of the updated uh, additional graphics, it says, um, I actually got in touch with Rindle, who did the graphics on yeah? this, the updated graphics. I mean, this looks amazing. <sighs> oh, yeah. Like, this is this looks really good. Um, he said, it would be cool if you could just mention that much of the new stuff in the expanded game is my work. 
the street walker the assassin the crow new power-ups we haven't seen the street walker or the assassin or the crow yet um new power-ups we haven't seen those yet luckily i think you get good at this after a while you oh, have, you have to. to if you want to mention a bit of my Atari, uh 2600 art background I created one of the first, if not first, 2600 hack to be posted on Atari Age, Return of Mario Brothers, as well as two others, Donkey Claws and Spice Invaders. <laughs> Later, I did graphic hacks for Activision's PS2 Game Boy Advance title, Activision Anthology. Thomas also worked on that, doing the PAL and TSC conversions, I believe. Uh, oh, also, yes. I forgot to mention. Once you get back out here, of here, I'll I'll uh, show you, Thomas. I'm figuring out this thing. Okay. No, you're too slow. You're too slow. Gotta go immediately. There, that's a little better. See now, it's see it's fine. So you can go left and right. <sighs> oh, oh, so what's this? So those are kind of barriers. It's kind of a safe zone. What's this one in? So you're in level one. It's just letting me know that it's cool. Level one, area A. Okay. And then I think if you keep going up, it's level two. I don't think I can go up any higher. Can I? Oh, cool. Well, oh, B. Go I, A, B, C. So it's structure one, level B. This is structure two, level B. Turn around. There you go. <laughs> Little wink. Terrible. I don't like these perverts. <laughs> is this a pedophiles? Yes, that's a pedophile. Because I'm a little kid? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's you dark. are a little kid. That's dark, man. I'm just, it is I'm just saying. dark. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm guessing the book is a lot darker than the. There's, it has to be sanitized. I mean, Steven Although Spielberg. They, take, they 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 say shit like 500 times in the What's movie. What's this? Is this a new thing? Puzzle piece. Yes. Whew. First piece of the puzzle. Um, how many pieces do you have to get? I would say eight, based on that slice. Oh my god. Six to eight. And I gotta get past this thing. That one's easy. And a pervert. And a pervert. One, two. Boom. Um, bam, bam. So Thomas Jens bam. said oh. in uh, 2015 November, we're still working on the game. It's maybe 95% done, but it still needs some polishing. Um, Albert oh. followed up, said to that end, we're looking for some people who are willing to play the game on real hardware using a Harmony cart, which we are, to help test for bugs and to give us feedback how to further improve the game. Please PM me if you're interested in helping. Whoa. This is level one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so and do they change each time? Is it random or? Um, I think it is. I think it is. It's like gotta the be layout random. and where the pieces are. Level one bam, may not bam. be because it doesn't have that um, bam. Okay, randomization. Cool. Oh, I see. It's got to be immediate, man. I'm figuring out my Six. timing. Six puzzle pieces, um, Thomas says. Bam. Um, bam. Also, is bam. level one randomized or bam. not randomized? Okay. Because I see level two, three. Oh, so Thomas says level one is not random. Oh. So this is a good practice one. So if you know where all the puzzle okay, pieces are. Okay, so these are, ones are all like done. All the same. These ones are all pretty good. I think I haven't checked out this one yet. Damn. One, two, um, so Thomas has sent some more updates um, about this. Wow. Here's some brief instructions, mainly for new game nice. variations. The original game's manual can be found here. Oh, I think that's another little link. There we go. Oh, no. Link to nothing. So Thomas, that went nowhere. I think it says deleted. Um, variations selected on the title screen. One is the original contest game variation. This has to stay at is, so all the so all the changes are in variations two through four. Which is cool that he kept it. Because then you can see how it originally was. So I would actually start playing variation two, because this won't have all the enhancements. I'll get these points anyways. Yeah. So play till you die. And then go to two, because this won't have any of the new stuff. I see, I see. Uh, two through four. Variations with randomly generated stack maps, where two has the smallest map Whoa. and the lowest what pace. What is this thing? Oh, my God. Oh, you made it onto ladder. I did. There you go. So you can jump onto ladders, which I love in games. You, can, oh. you don't have to get at the bottom. Whoa, there's so many levels. <laughs> 
Uh, Ground Trooper says, get the Audible book with Will Wheaton narrating. It's amazing. The RPO world is so much larger in the book than the movie, and tons of more pop culture references. Yeah, in the book, uh, Tanya said one of the things that you have to complete, one of the puzzles, is to participate in the movie War Games as the main character, and you have to word for word recite every line in the movie. Wow. <laughs> of the main character. This is this is you. Okay, so okay. I'll let you. C okay, where where am reading. I at? Um, just after number two, the next paragraph, the number besides. Okay, uh, the number besides the variation, two point four only, defines the random seed for the right. generated map. That's what I thought. Which includes everything. Example: the trailer uh, arrangement, ladder position, optical puzzle position inside the trailers, etc. And so this means that you have 65,535 start maps for each variation available. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's going to be good. Look at that dude. It's like a little Why? Rat, How'd you find the rat? rat dog. Where is it? Well, he's on, because I'm playing level two now. Oh, I see. Right, which is much more enhancements. It's got arrows. Arrows and stuff. Multiple rooms. I guess it's like, no, go back. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, maybe. Oh, and look at the pillars. So things are sort of different. changing a bit. Like the pillars wow. and the wall are different. There's nothing. Maybe those arrows are like, don't bother. And so he said, you can enter a seed to replay a previous game. In that oh. case, the generator maps will be 100% identical to the previous game. So you can so. map a game and replay the mapped stacks okay. much easier and faster. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you can kind of like, Practice. that's why there's those numbers. Yeah. And then the first one has no numbers because it's always the same. I'm yeah. understanding. To, to make sure that everybody can play the original contest version yeah. as it came out. And he says, ah. in variation one, the map is static, seven screens wide, four screens tall. It is limited by borders on the left and right. In the other variation, the stack map is randomly generated based on the random seed with varying sizes up to 12 screens wide and 10 oh. screens tall. And that there are no left or right borders. Instead, you find endless empty areas. Wow. Okay. So this is the, the game... Oh, because this is empty area. Yeah. So let's go back. Oh, and that's where the... Yeah. But if you want to get around... Some stuff. A difficult area... You can kind of like go to your safe zone and... Yeah. Whoa. So you're on level three. Wow, there's a lot more stuff going on in this game, man. Yeah. This well, is a this is a, this is a deep game. Oh, there's a pit. There's pits. Is, do you fall if you go? Is that like pits? electric thing up there? Is this death? Oh no, it's a ladder. Okay. Oh, it's a ladder down. Oh, that's okay. good. So, so the main goal is to collect six puzzle pieces yep. that are hidden inside the trailer and bring them go. to the hideout. Good, you found oh, one. Oh, no, that's not a puzzle no. piece. That's just points. <laughs> this opens a door and allows you to move to the next map. Oh, so he said the second goal is to collect a key and oh. find the lock both inside trailers, too. Burger. This um, opens a door and allows you... That's necessary. Yeah. That's a requirement. <laughs> With these things, man, in particular... Deadly. Um, the third can... goal is to collect storage devices and food power-ups for extra points. Okay, storage devices. Yeah, I don't know what... Maybe that's what you found. Well, I saw a cassette tape. There's discs. What's yeah. this? What is this? It's like a question. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Try going inside that that um, that door. Oh, I'm at the top now. Let's check out what's inside this door. Oh, a terminal. Maybe this is like... The puzzle, because it looks like a puzzle piece. Yeah, area. this feels like where you deliver your pieces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's very, very much like Impossible Mission. Oh, another arrow. I'm gonna find out if these arrows. No, yeah, I think they are I like some no. Trust don't bother. Issues with these arrows. Yeah. Don't know? bother. There's nothing here. Keep going. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he said one is not random. Yeah, yeah. That's from before. <gasps> A key. Nice. So I have the key. Is there okay. an inventory screen? It's to or... collect a key and find the lock both inside trailers too. This opens a door and allows you to move to the next map. This map will be a bit larger and more difficult with new obstacles, storage devices. So Thomas just says that points to the exit. So the, the arrows don't indicate necessarily there's nothing there. Oh, it's just letting you know like this is the... There we go. Is that a puzzle piece? Yes. Okay. 
So I'm okay. gonna take it back to that room. And see. Oh no, it's not that one. It's the one with the yeah, it's the one with the thing, yeah. And see if you can do anything. Maybe you can rearrange them. If it's like that, then it's an impossible mission. No, it looks like you just have That's where you deliver them, I you guess. You just go like, hey man, I, I got all my stuff. Yeah. What'd you think of the movie, James? <sighs> it's for kids. Hell yeah. Um I watched I think... it in 3D and that was fun. Oh. And I think kids would like it. I think kids would like it. Yeah, it's so simple. It's like some stuff. These kids gotta get uh, some stuff. And it's all the characters are kids too, so it's like yeah. you, there's no one you like identifying with these. There's no adults except for just terrible people. Yeah, just these like lunatics who are like, <laughs> like smack them around. We and... want the oasis to ourselves. <laughs> I felt the antagonist was so stereotypically eighties. Yeah. Like, I'm a bad guy. Well, there's also... At least he had a motivation. I am a business guy. I want the money. I want to take yeah, over he's like, I the wanna, Oasis. I want to sell ads. That's all he wanted. Ads. That's all he wanted. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and they're like, the, they're like the Oasis should have ads. 80% of the screen ads. is filled with, with ads. ads. Oh, my God. Good luck. Oh. And then it places me in Whoa. immediate danger. Whoa. How do you... How does one recover? Oh, oh you're safe on the side. From this predicament. Oh, now I'm gonna... I'm almost dead. Yeah, you need a burger. So that's a storage... See, uh, that's off the screen. Oh, he changed. Did he change position? Yeah, he did. Now he's... Now he's protecting... Oh, well. The path I wanted to go. Oh, it's but I can go around him. You just go yeah, to a you safe you zone. you for sure can. Also, like, do you oh think... My God. I don't want to spoil any of the movie, though. I shouldn't. Well, you can say spoilers and... Ah. Well, well yeah, I mean... Put us on mute or I don't know. Well, ah. I'm not going to try. I'm not really going to spoil too much. Um, I mean, I feel like... I feel like terrible. one of the first things you do is drive backwards. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I like the inventive idea of, like, the guys, like, oh, no one's... We got to look at this puzzle completely differently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's some creative stuff. Um, that wasn't in the in the book. This Tanya told me about that. What was what's in the book? Like, what does he do? In the it, they're mostly one? video games he plays. Okay, I, I can understand why they would be like, <laughs> just <laughs> cut to. Let's not put an Atari game on the screen for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah they're like, um, like Steven, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta ramp up the excitement. Mid. We're gonna do a car race right at the beginning. Let's get it. some. Dinosaurs, King Kongs uh, in there, but giant the... robots with swords hacking yes. each other apart. Let's raise the stakes. Yes. Oh yeah. Let's make well... like a bomb that can annihilate everything. <laughs> those those are fine because they worked into the like the bombs and the uh, power upgrades. Yeah. Those are video game things. Those are also great why references. would the dude just hang out in like the library? Uh, yeah. That, that's, that, that was irked, very, very suspicious. That irked me to no end. I was like, what, like really? Doesn't he have a wife and kids? Like he just Isn't it, wasn't that the point that he had a wife and kids? But he, he could be virtual. You know, he just flicks it on. And he goes, oh, somebody's come. I'll flick it up. But, but he's at, presumably, during dinner? He's presumably always there, though. <laughs> during dinner? It's, it was like a reveal that, to me, I was like, what is this thing? Yeah. It's, no. I just, I didn't like that one at all. No, me this, neither. This it's... old dude spends all of his time just, like, hanging around. No. That's a cute little guy. I got a thing. Oh, what was it? It was just a not a Not a burger or anything. No, I'm just going to follow these things just to sort of see. Okay, cool. Yeah. Boom. So, did you read all of this? Um, no, you didn't. Oh, sorry. You, there's tons more. There's tons more. Damn. I don't even know where you start. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Probably controls. Yes, that's where I stopped. Joystick, you move Wade, the hero of the game, by pushing left or right while being on ladders up and down. He enters a trailer with up. Wade can jump over obstacles What's with his, the Wade fire. Wade Wilson, was that his name? I think so. Yeah. Puzzle, puzzle piece. piece. Yes. I wonder what it looks like it spells something. Oh my god, and I'm like on the wrong side of this. You are safe on the very edges. Yeah. So if you enter a room, don't run into it. Also, just just, just move in just a bit. Yes. I'm going to go check some other stuff. But out. you are looking for trailers. So that is a completely useless area, that one to the left. Yes. Because there's no trailers whatsoever. Wade Watts. Wade Watts. Oh, you're not safe. Never mind. Disregard. 
Wade Watts because I remember it was WW because oh. he references he's like he's like my parents called me like a Peter a Marvel Parker. character. Oh, oh there's, there's the, lock. the lock. Okay, okay that, so that opens that's, some. You gotta stuff. find the key and you have to but memorize I, where that is. Oh my god. So. What, 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 look at this guy up there. Did you see that guy? So one. Look at him. Yeah, you're on one side. How does one uh, deal with... You get it from the left and run in. Okay. So you don't want to get, take it from the right. So you have to go around. Okay, and then you, this... That one's challenging, but not too bad. Maybe i got to go in one of these trailers. Let's find out. Oh, my God, i got to do with these guys, too. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Whew. More! Okay, okay. And then it just gives you points at the end. Eh? Oh, yeah. This is what's going to happen. But once you got that pattern, it's not... Hard, right? What? How does one? Uh... You have to jump when it's not buzzing, but then also run from it too. So run towards it as it's coming back to you, but you have to time it. No, you have to time it. You have to think about when it. That's yeah, hard. Hard. That one's hard. Wait, what? On the title screen. Thanks, Grand Trooper. Yeah, but we've done the title screen. The switches are on. In the game, select returns to the title screen. Reset starts the current game. Oh, so you can keep playing the same variation. I love that. So if you know where the key is and you know where the puzzle pieces are and you're writing out a map, you don't have to enter oh. in the game again. Why am I getting killed by a rat? It you should, should be. not. It's, I know. Like, like what, the last what chance thing. do I have if I can't even <laughs> dodge this rat? Scoring. You get big points for collecting puzzle pieces. Makes sense. Bring to the hideout... And assemble there. I'm guessing the computer is the hideout. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Additional points are provided by collecting the key, using the lock, collecting storage devices, uh, and food power-ups. The latter also provides you with extra lives, up to three. You also get a bonus life every 10,000 points. That's a lot of points. Obstacles. There are numerous enemies. New enemies and food power-ups and storage devices are revealed when you progress to the new map. The next map. Oh. Yeah, because you're going to unlock that key. Oh, which so, opens up more so areas. So the thing is, is just like, oh, we haven't even touched we the surface. Yes. I had trouble jumping over that guy, but it's doable. I feel like a lot of this is about... <laughs> that one, run, run, run. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There, now you can avoid him. Yay. Um, obstacles. Most are plain deadly on contact. Others will steal your puzzle pieces or the keys, Whoa. reduce your score, or move you on the map. Holy we cow. haven't encountered anything like that yet. Wade can jump over or duck them or run. Th can you duck? Try ducking. I can't. Oh, not implemented. Okay. Oh, no, uh, I can if I hold down B. Oh, it's the button. I gotta hold okay. down B. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, uh, run through them using Whoa. your inactive times. Whoa. Just keep running. Keep Whoa. running. There you go. <laughs> you will <laughs> soon find out. Signs. Signs help you navigate the map by telling you at which column and row of stack you are. Uh, some signs show an arrow. On the trailers, they indicate the end of the stacks and where to go. Inside the trailers, they show you the direction of the exit. So they don't indicate there's nothing there. Really nice game. However, the sound of those junkies flying octopuses get on my nerves. Yes. In your first face. Piece. Puzzle pieces. That's maybe a bit much. But they're yeah. not on every screen. Though. No, they're not on every screen. Yes. Nice. I haven't found them like super annoying. Cause no, it's just every once just, in a while. They're just on it's an amazing screen. game. Like I'm just going to throw it out there. Like This is not... The depth of it. The depth's insane. The replayability is insane. I just... The, I feel overwhelmed by the amount of like <laughs> just dedication I would have to give to even beat like one level. <laughs> like, even half of a level would take me all day. Yeah. This is like one of looks like one of the hardest games I've seen. It's challenging. Like I don't know about I'm not I'm, tr I'm not trying to be like hyperbolic here. I think hard on an ongoing basis. <sighs> not good. Keep going. RIP. Rip. Uh, note, between variation 1 and 2 through 4, the meaning of the letters and digits have been reversed. Don't know what that means. 
And that is the instructions that Thomas... Oh, my timing is so bad for this guy. I can't even jump over a rat, James. That is very poor. Oh, no, yeah, one more. There See, I, like, what am I doing wrong here? Jumping too late or too soon? Too soon, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I saw it in 3D, though, and that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> you like 3D? Uh, for th movies, for movies like that, I do. Because uh, it was made for... Very immersive, right? And it was fun, and you're whipping around, and you're, like, in the Oasis, yeah. and then, like, the dancing scene, and the, like, dancing, and there's so much stuff going on, and the sound in that movie was amazing. It very much felt like a roller coaster, though. It was like I went to the amusement park, and I was, like, uh, sitting in a roller coaster, and when the roller coaster's over, you're like, oh, yeah, it kind of, like, just went up yeah, and down. Yeah, that's how those movies are. Because I would be... It's an adventure ride. It's totally. Not, it's not a good and narrative. Even, even the structure, it's, like, just three keys. <laughs> yeah. And then they have all these One, sort two, of... Three. And these sort of silly reveals at the end. And then I really like, and then they try to like hammer down a moral. They're like, kids, make sure you go outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's right. On Tuesdays, just pick two days a week. You could game like 24 hours a day. That's right. But <laughs> as long as you take two days off. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you can make out with your new girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the, that was what they did. It's like that's that's that was Wade Watson's. I don't think you can jump over that dude. My sister was really annoyed with it. Um, yeah. Because she was like, she said to me, she's super sensitive to this stuff, and she was like, I don't like that the woman is like the prize oh, for. Uh, oh my god. And I was like, I was like, you you bring up a very good point. It's like this nerdy guy and then <laughs> this sort of woman, and she doesn't really like. She doesn't yeah. have much of a character in it. I was... Because um, she's so sensitive to that stuff. I, she hates that stuff. I, I, I actually mentioned it to Tanya while we were watching it. You can only jump over if they are moving? Whoa. Oh, if they're moving, so you can't... They, they are barriers. Okay, thank cool. you. I, Thanks, Steve. I would have kept trying for a little while. Um, that part where she's like, Oh, you go on ahead. You're the chosen one. Yeah! And I'm like, what? Why? She solved the second one. Yeah, dude. What? And she has a motivation, not just money. And she's been working at it longer. He's yeah, just been he's hanging just like, out. I'm dropping in. It's like, <laughs> because she's she's a female, the writers went into the same old trope yeah. of, no, the guy has to do it. And the woman is just there for helping him to push him along. That's no, right. you, de you get the prize. And then she's sort of damsel in distress for a while. Do you remember oh. that? It's like, oh no, she's trapped. Oh man, that wasn't in the book. Doesn't surprise me. He was trapped. There you he go. He didn't even get trapped. He did on purpose, which was even better. Yeah. To get him inside. That makes sense. He went into debt. Ah, oh, that makes sense. And it's way better That'd be idea, more but fun. not movie friendly. Not you know. Yeah. Not Hollywood friendly. It's it's there was a lot of tropey tropey tropes. Oh yeah, oh <laughs> and yeah. And not good ones, and not well used. I know it's in that room, so I will avoid that one. I think the strategy is pretty much like Impossible Mission, is just go through every room, every trailer. It's not easy, these rats, man. You think it's easy? See, oh, James. Oh, that. That is like Pitfall. See? It's like the Scorpion, except those are easier than the Scorpion. Yeah, they're just like... Studio compromises, yeah. Yeah, I really think Investor so. Investor compromises. It's Ooh. like, what sells? Oh, How yeah. are we going to make our money back? It's... And there's it's, so many IPs for that movie. It's crazy if you think yeah. how much. I was surprised there wasn't more um, Steven Spielberg yeah, IPs in it there. Would make there was more almost none. Yeah, it would make way more sense. <laughs> Because you're like, you got the guy, just ask him. Yeah, he's Mr. 80s movie. Yeah. Right? That was his huge heyday. Like, what's your favorite Spielberg movie? I'm not a, well, it's... Because I like him way more than you Probably Jaws. Do. Yeah, Jaws is great. I mean, the stuff like E.T. is good. But I find them, they're kids' movies. Right? Oh, yeah. They're, they're not... Like Hook and Goonies are like just fully kids' movies. And yeah, then those Indiana Jones adventure. movies, like the second one is like... Indiana yeah. Jones. Like the, fir the first, first one and, and third? the third one are pretty good. Primo. Those are good. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Not a yeah. big fan. You know, it's, Holly it's Hollywood. Stuff. Yeah. Um, Even he the... does good Hollywood. I can give him that. It's like, no, if you're going to watch a Hollywood film, you know, go for his. They're yeah. at least well done. They're tightly um, written, tightly edited. There's no fluff. 
Yeah, and he's amazing at his job in terms oh. of just like technically like Visuals, his movies technical, and the sound everything. and music and everything. Schindler's List, man. I yeah. haven't seen that yet. Schindler's it's List good. is amazing. I do have to watch that. Um, and it's heartbreaking. Um, the Post is cool too. I like the Post. Oh, I this year that was fun. Um, Lincoln's cool. Did he direct Lincoln? One. I think I've only seen his like I think kids I've, movies. I might have seen. I've seen a lot of. Um, uh, I've seen a lot of Spielberg movies. I think. Yeah. Super uh, Tuesday. Absolutely, yeah. it is. It's probably why I like nobody wanted to see it with me. Yeah, it's and kind now, it's, it's now a everybody's cert, seen it. It's a certain vibe. It's kind of like, hey, you want to go see Schindler's List, guys? It's like, yeah. oh, well, uh, they made fun of that in, in Seinfeld. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, where he actually makes out during Schindler's List. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Joke. <laughs> oh, like, that's good. And he's not paying attention to the movie, so he didn't even really know what it was about. Oh. Like he just picked it, went in. Ignored it, made out with his girlfriend, mm. and then everybody like totally ragged on him because he's Jewish. Well, yeah, and he's going like, to ah, shit. What are you doing? So super funny. Yeah, obviously, very along the line, cringy material that they yeah. write. But you know, lower edge, lower end cringe. Yeah, it's not even really cringy. I don't find Sel find Seinfeld cringy. No. It's just terrible people doing terrible well, things. things. <laughs> and then being punished, trapped in lies, yes. and then paying for Always it. So, that's the Larry a David bit. thing. Not right? really. They no. all go, eh. Uh, they're all. Because like, they just, they don't care. And, cause all, the and the all of them are like in on it too. That's the problem. Yeah. They all like don't care that each other are terrible people. I just read a Spielberg biography. Lots of great stories. Oh, I bet he has great stories. Oh, yeah, man. And he's been around forever. That's yeah. a really crazy thing about him. Is he's just made so many movies. Yeah. D. D. Is there D or E? No, to D. So four columns. Okay. And I don't know what level you're on. And you don't need to get those, right? No, I really you need don't. You to get the key. You need to put it in the lock. I got a key. And you need to get That's the something. puzzle pieces. That's something. Okay, we got three. So you can one. kind of peek in on either yeah, side of the columns. Yeah, you can kind of like check this stuff out. I mean, I can get that easily. Why not? But there's no other reason to get some points. Get I'm those blocked guys. from this guy. Cool. And that's an easy over to column C. Yeah. Although that guy was blocking me, so I can't. No, no, it. in the middle. In it was middle. totally open. Oh, you're right. Let's just go check that out. So you could get there. If I recall, you found the lock at the bottom, didn't you? This is absolutely this is, right. Maybe a different game, right? Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Bug. There's a bug. Um, Mr. Fix is... <laughs> did you just see that bug? I did see that bug. <laughs> That's messed Crunk. up. See if you can replicate that. Go back up. To um, other level. And, and Mr. Fix says the thing about the girl in the red coat. Absolutely, man. That's a, totally a huge part of that. How did I do that? I didn't. You, you go up the ladder and come back down it. And I think oh. you just kept walking down. Or did you just happen to press down at a certain I might have just like... Start at the top, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. I didn't. But there it is on video, so it's recorded. Yeah. Saving Private Ryan's cool, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good That's one. really good. That opening okay. is intense. So I have seen yeah, a yeah. non-children's film of his. <laughs> of his. <laughs> it's Indiana Jones. Those are kids' movies. Yeah. Just straight-up serial, yeah, serial yeah. movies from the 50s and Whoa. 40s. Whoa. Oh, that's too fast. Quick, go somewhere. Oh, that was worth it. Whoa. Did that give you two? Or did you have one before? And then a two appeared. Because that's kind of weird. <laughs> I really want to go on that other one, but I feel like that's a Maybe mistake. you might want to go around and not through this whole level. It's no, but terrible. I'm going to go check out this, this Oh, you can here. get that one. <gasps> and a puzzle piece. What? Oh, look. oh, so it all pops up when you get one. That's on purpose. No, it's too fast. Rip. Go in, quick. Fuck me. Okay, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna get this guy. Yes! Yay! You don't have the key, do you? I do. Have <gasps> Whoa! So we get to see what this is like. Okay. So what is... So that takes you to a new... A new area. C1? Was there not a C1? Or is this a whole new stack? This might be a whole new stack. Oh, because you can't go back. Ooh. Oh, so it just keeps going. So you have to get a key in the lock on each time. Don't. I'm looking away. Yeah, that's like um, 
I have never thought... It's like the ghosts in Mario Brothers. I mean, no criticism by this, but I never thought in my life I would be dodging pedophiles in in, 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 a, in a 2600 game. No, that's that's one that's for the checklist. That's a new one. That's definitely... Like, it's like, sometimes I, I have this like bucket list that I never intended <laughs> to like check off. That's, that is that. That's on the bucket list. Dodging pedophiles in a game. Oh, these are harder. You saw, see, yeah, they're man. a little bit closer. Somehow, in. I'm gonna have to get back. Whoa! You gotta follow closer. Get a little. Oh, oh no, that was fine. Yeah. Okay. That was just a, this is an intense one because they're really fast and they're really close. Now I gotta jump over this rat again. <laughs> no, don't look at me. But I was saying that that is like in um, Mario Brothers. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers, with the the little the boos. Yeah. Where if you look at them, they don't move. And if you look away, they follow and you. Like, oh. And go, oh. Those are cool. Yes. It's like also like did you ever see that Doctor Who episode? Yeah. Oh my god. It's, it's a really good. Pretty one. much the only new Doctor Who episode I've I know. Watched. My sister showed it to me, and she was like, "This is amazing." One of the best. Like just premises. Premises ever. I tried to watch some other ones of the new Doctor Who, and I'm like, nah. Yeah, there's such hit and miss. This is cheese factor 10. <laughs> Just, oh! So it's a different puzzle? How does this work? Oh, no. So oh. it reset? So I needed to... But you to, can't go back? But I can't go back. So you should find all the puzzles? Those but this is a new puzzle, though. Because... So you don't need the other pieces. I don't understand. One what? puzzle per stack. Oh, so that's sent me. So you didn't complete the first one? Do I'm... you need to complete the puzzle? Because you can't go back now, can you? I don't think you can. Oh! oh. <laughs> Whew! Okay. Luckily I learned this hmm. pattern. Yeah, that teams. one's not too bad. Puzzles only for scores. Oh, okay. So puzzles are fine. Oh, so I can just like... It's all about the keys. And the locks that. getting to the next stack. Oh, I see, I see. Whoa, 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 watch your head there. Why, well, this is the only way to safe. go. I can go around and up. You can? Yeah. Oh, Careful. <laughs> In the room. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Give me a sec. Okay. Hey, got some gas. You need some burgers. I you definitely do. need a burger. Whoa! Oh! Yeah. Rip. But you solved the first. Stack. Yeah, that's not on bad. level two. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that the puzzles are are, are uh, score. Yes. Yeah, that means that like this game is way more doable. Cause I thought we had to get all the puzzle pieces. That's what I thought too. Complete it, then get the thing. So it's just the key. It's not. You were laughing at me before. I was. <laughs> Oh my god. This is embarrassing. <laughs> it's not easy. It's a perfect... It is easy. It's That's be the problem. Well, well, the thing is, is you get cocky because you think you figured it out. Yeah. yeah. I think this goes nowhere every time. I think it goes nowhere every time, too. <laughs> oh, hiccups. No. Depends on what you're going. Lots of stack or high score? Yeah, because in the movie, you get money <laughs> yeah. for getting score, so... If this was the movie, you'd be wanting to get all those pieces. Yeah. Well, actually, no. You you'd think... be just wanting to get the key because then you get a half a trillion dollars. Do you think that like <laughs> the world could turn into something like that, like to some degree? Oh yeah. I mean, oh, that's that's. Oh yeah. I had the same thought. I feel like that's the actually the the, the untapped. Yes. I would. The other thing that I thought was would have been cooler. Is, and I was pitching this to my sister, and she was like, it would never go. But I would have loved it if they looked like people who had never left their house. Because that's the should. thing, is they, they don't, they everybody should. is, like, pretty. And to me, I'm huh. like, you wouldn't be, though. You would be this obese, yeah. or super, no exercise. actually, skinny would be the way to go. Eating Someone, crap food. That's yeah, right. you skinny. Eating crap food. Never shower. Never exercising, never showering, because you'd have no... Did you see a bathroom in those Never. things? Never. Do you see piping coming out of them? Never. No, it'd be terrible, muddy, mucky, terrible everything. And, that's, and then you're in this thing. And, like, that's the thing. I honestly also, like, really think a lot of a lot of young ah! men. You'd always be in VR trying to get more money. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 
And a lot of young young men, I think, around like 15, 16 years old, get in, get really addicted to video gaming for this very reason that it's like in your like you go to like middle school and you're just like nobody cares who you are. But then all of a sudden you can go play like League of Legends or Fortnite or something, and then you are a god. Yes. And then you go to school and you're like, uh, and you can possibly make money. Totally. You can make money on Twitch. Not many people can, but it's possible to make money on Twitch playing video games. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that's at a saturation point right now. All the big ones are already big. Yeah. I mean, there's probably room for a couple more. Um, or you can play it competitively, but just as in any competitive thing for money, only the best handful, five yeah. people, ten people maybe, are going to make the big money. The rest are wasting their time struggling. To fight. You know, and, it, and, it, and and I, I remember feeling that way when I was like that age where it was like I would log into like a game mm -hmm. and I was like respected and I was like rushing people and I had all this currency yeah. online and then you and then you go into the real world and you're just like I'm it nothing. Sucks. And yes. so I, that that part that's of, a factor. That's something that I really liked about the movie where it was this that was it kind of captured that sense although I just think they should have pushed that as far as it could go. But that would be a different movie. It's not a dystopian there's, movie. It's, there's no it's way. more about action and fun and friendship and <laughs> you're right, making half a trillion dollars and yeah. Um but yeah. I think the world needs to get a bit more dystopian. Yep. Um, our current world. So that real life is terrible enough that you would want to immerse yourself into VR. VR is here. It's oh, already yeah. here. And it is amazing. It's really good. If you Have you ever played? Uh, I tried a couple, but I... The thing, PS4 or the um, computer version? I did the computer. I did like... I was, I was Yeah, the, I was at like, oh an, God, I was at like so a good. thing. And... Um, also, like uh, something like open world game would just be yeah. out of out of this world. Yeah, like they're in. Yeah. and that is just more graphics, better oh, yeah. graphics. That's all. Oh god, I yeah. Mean, the graphics are pretty damn good as they are now. So all that's doable. It's just the incentive to be in that twenty four hours a day. I think. Except when you're in school, because in the book you're not allowed to use um, the away oasis during school hours. Yeah. So. It's shut you down would. for kids. But it's like, I was <laughs> teaching um, a class to like 13 year olds. I had to teach like filmmaking and it was rough, man, because we had to edit and it was just like, the second I turn my back, Minecraft. <laughs> oh God. And it was, we had to, I had to, be, I had to Mine. ban Minecraft from yeah. like the editing suite and all these kids hated me. I was like their enemy. You want to play Minecraft. Yeah, but it was like they wanted to just play Minecraft because they just felt more comfortable there. I was just, That's that was my read on it. what they're there for. They weren't like, there for that, but it was, but I could feel there was almost an anxiety. It was the, it was the boys. The girls were oh. happy hanging out and talking because they were like 13, 14. Like not playing Minecraft gives them anxiety. Yes. And they felt just more comfortable when they were that's in a, Minecraft world, right? That's a problem. And and could you imagine that times a million? Yeah, because it's it's free to play. Yeah. Oasis is free to play. Yeah. In that world, um, it's not. Tanya said it's not free to buy the equipment. Yeah, but it's free. But it's to. free to play. So. And um, I play. Um, and people can gamble their real life money, just like now you can buy upgrades in games and. They haven't stopped doing that because it's making them tons of cash. Yeah. And people fall for that over and over again. Um, it, buying in-world currency or buying weapons or upgrades. Loot crates and loot all crate, that Random stuff. stuff. Like they yeah. buy random stuff. Well, the weird thing is, is like... It's gambling, in-game in gambling. Yeah. And it's banned in a lot of European countries now. And it, and it's also weird because people want their character to look cool. So they yes. like they they skins skins yeah. is like everything, and I don't understand that myself. But um, and that's another thing that bugged me in the movie. Why didn't he just reskin him scal himself? I know, just, and she even she tells him she's like, "They shouldn't you should look do like. it." And he's like, "Whatever." Here's a terrible disguise. No, reskin yourself yeah, completely. Just not make a, a different glasses. A different thing. I did the Which beat. Like I liked Superman. in the, ha, ha. I liked the beat when he like gives away who he is to like. The girl, because he good. likes the girl. That, that was, was the best piece of writing in the whole movie. I that think. was actually cleverly crafted. And 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 raising the stakes. And I love and her reaction listening. to it too, where she's just she's like, like "Oh my god, you're an idiot. You're the stupidest." <laughs> I was like, "I'm on board with this chick." And then the yes. rest of the movie, she's terrible. She's the guy. She's the person who she's knows the brains. What, she knows what she's doing. She, she knows. knows how to play. She's an expert at it. She's better. Oh, sorry. Don't okay. only talk about movies. Just give me yeah. some feedback about the game. So, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's just reminding us of the movie. Um, <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Thrust. <laughs> if you send me off on a movie rant, I will go forever. Yeah. Um, dude, the game is sick. Yes. Like it's 
challenging. I would say that, but like, not too challenging. Like you can, once you get the rat, fine. You once you get those moving pieces, pieces that are moving those two, those are fine. I would, like, I would say though that it does feel overwhelming to me, for sure. Because I feel like I feel, I feel like I'd have to do a lot of homework to get ready to do this. But at the end of the day, that is know. like I would take this over like a lot of games because there's this is something like the replayability oh, is insane. Huge. The, the you the recycle maps. Yeah. Um. And also, once I started to figure out the rhythm of like jumping over these electrical things, I honestly this is one of the few games I almost have no feedback for because I think that it's like <laughs> I don't feel qualified yet to give feedback. I think I would have. We to, haven't gone far far enough in the game yet. Yeah, we'd almost. I feel like we'll I'd have to play it again. I'd have to sink like a good like and honestly a good like three four hours more yes. into this game before yeah. I because I feel like we just screw raping the surface also the connection to the movie obviously we kind of got on a sidetrack about <laughs> yeah. vr and stuff because it's a passion but like in terms of like the game i mean the other thing is as well, well let's like, let's go through it bit by bit yes. graphics um great um, phenomenal they're really good i can't i can't see much improvement there's you know when you're going on the ladders there's colors on the ladders yeah. um that's difficult to to fix it because you're using um, obviously, I, you're using the missile graphics for those, and one you're using the either the other missile or the ball graphics. If you used one for ball and one as the non-player missile, that could be fixed. But obviously, you're the expert on that. Um, yeah. There's a reason that hasn't been fixed for some some because of there's another oh because there's the enemy as well on some of those with ladders. Um, and you can't use the ball in two places, otherwise it's flickering. Do you want flickering ladders? Anyway, besides that, um, I don't really want flickering ladders. I think that, in all honesty, um, if I were to give any feedback, I think it needs to be a bit easier. If I were to be totally honest. Start off a little bit I think a little bit easier. Slower moving things. Um, actually, what I would do, if it were me, is simplify the outside areas so it's easier to navigate to start for the first level. You know what? Because I think you're absolutely right um there's too many enemies yeah it's kind of because when i go because when i go it's hard for me just oh, like sorry ball is play field color because yeah, for me jumping too. into it um it's hard enough navigating the trailers and then when you add this other layer of outside the trail trailers um because it would be neat if like almost the first one even, practice yeah almost. had almost no enemies outside still enemies but not as many though. yeah That's the, the barriers are totally legit i like the barriers a lot but yeah. just so i can kind of explore and learn the game in a much safer environment and then when it ramps up um you can start to sort of slowly do it yeah 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 because um, i Cause felt oh my god it's hard I, you we only beat it once the first level and usually, was was it was did we? But that's the first key, and there's only three keys. So mm, is that is that so? Did that send me to to level three then? Oh, level two. Level two. No, no, not those. Oh, With, so like in the within the second difficulty, I think. Unless it was, it was no, unless we're missing something. No, that seems right because you have to go three keys within each one. I think. Maybe maybe that is. It's like two, three, four is key one, two, three. If you can let us know. But it may be just like two is a hard difficulty, three is harder, four it's like, is even harder. So maybe two should be a lot easier. Yeah. And then. Like two should be easy. And it's, I think it's outside of normal, the trailers. And four should be hard. Because I think inside the trailers are legit. Because yeah. then, because once you yeah. learn the pattern, it's fine. But outside of it, it's so hard to navigate. Yeah. Inside, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two is easiest, four is hardest. So those yeah. are levels. So I would take two way down yeah just so that and because the thing is is it's it is really nice in game design i think when the first levels are actually almost dead easy because then yeah. then i feel like i've made some progress and i'm invested it's kind of like it's the old classic thing of like if you're hustling someone at pool and you crush them <laughs> yeah. in the first game they're never going to play pool with you again yeah but if you just like they you they sort of beat you and you're like oh i feel like i have a chance and then you, you know, want to return to it yeah because yeah. that that keeps the person playing like five games of pool versus if the first one so i feel like in some ways if i was to use that analogy i feel like i just got blitzed by a pool shark in the first <laughs> yeah. game and i'm like oh Whoa. god i clearly don't know how to do anything and so that was like but then once i started getting it it's rewarding like it yeah. isn't like all when all the stuff is there it's, it's cool it's, it's old school hard yeah which is fine if you want to go for old school hard if you want to appeal to people that maybe aren't used to that kind of level 
and you should have that option at least yeah that option and make level three like move it up a bit like yeah level three should be the level we played in level two i oh, think yeah, that's totally. appropriate and then level four should be like just through the roof Throw and then it that's, at him. and just then that's fun because you're like okay i can kind of beat level two and now he said i guess i played it too that's often true because once you play it enough it's like oh this yeah is especially like even the pattern of like once james set me up with the thing i'm like oh i yeah. can kind of but even that rat like if you kind of mess up a couple times it's tough yeah slow him down a bit yeah maybe. um controls controls are awesome i never had any trouble with controls jumping moving going up ladders because you in some games you have to be precise on the ladder yeah i love the being able to jump onto the ladder oh that's the best ever thank you oh i hate and then, having I mean, to I love position pixel perfect and I, I felt like um like in the like last week that i was here yep. there's just a lot of games that were struggling to even just like play on your tv well that was a whole um problem. so the, you know the thing about this is there's nothing there's no to, glitches there's no to me there was no nothing that like i felt like was not meant to be there yeah which is a good feeling yep. and i and i also felt like completely free to navigate my character i felt like jumping was great dodging was great yeah. like i feel like in terms of it was just like um, movement it was perfect i mean we hadn't we haven't got to the level yeah, where he said i invested uh time into controls the original was much oh, worse okay. thank you because i controls felt controls are everything i had so much fun i felt like there was no nothing getting in the way I've, intuitive yeah and yep. it's a nice feeling Very when intuitive. i feel like I'm the reason why I'm failing at this game. Yes, you never want to blame the game. Yeah. It's like, oh, I couldn't jump because it's crappy. Because it's just did a thing. It was so that that part's really good. And then I, I love the idea of like um, all the puzzles and finding all the stuff yeah. and getting and optional things to do. Yes, that's great. Where, I mean, having the puzzle as a side quest. Side quests are great. Oh yeah, and and honestly, too, the other thing I need to say as well that's great is your arrow system is wonderful. Letting yes. us know the A and B. Because I, you're I not didn't, wasting time going off. No, I somewhere. didn't have to go in because otherwise it would be just like we would have to sort of map this out all We'd of a sudden. We'd have to write it down. Yeah. And it was, so I felt like um, you had some stuff built in there that kind of gave me the pathway. I really think the only thing is just making the first level a bit easier. Like yeah. everything else is there. It's a really complicated, fun game. Yeah. I was the most you can. I was the most engaged out of all the games today with this because yeah. yeah. I because I felt like there was nothing was getting in the way. It was just, of enjoyment. Yeah, yeah I, I felt like I was the playing. The intuitiveness was right there. Yeah, the other it, ones were like as good as any know. game I've played. Like you know what I mean? There oh, was yeah. no there was no feeling of like oh like in Tombstone I was kind of like oh the controls was kind of a little They're bit a little messed bit, with. Yeah, a little um, difficult. Yeah. Uh, but I like, I think, what what were the games we did today? So the first game we did, um, uh... Oh, where is it? There we go. First game, Fade, Fade Out. Out. Oh. It's just great, great potential. So much potential. Oh my god, if the controls were nailed down, and the screen movement, that's all, that's all that's really left. Yeah. To get the basics. It would be fun, oh but... Oh my god. And I, I just, want somebody to pick up that torch and run with it. Please. And it would be fun to just play. Me and James could mess around and see oh, who would be the better, forever. the better, like, fade Weapons out upgrades. You know, yeah, you could add a lot the limit. to that. Yeah, it's and a simple sh player versus player. And yeah. you could go from there crazy. But is, I have to like say. Like, do blackouts. Where oh, it's yeah. All your color. And then the another person's, you can get. You can like, do their blackout. There's so much potential there. But I gotta say, playing that game and then doing um, stacks, it just really showed me again that just like how we do take for granted that a lot that all the stuff is working. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because when as soon as you're in a game like that and you're like, oh, oh, oh you realize that you know, you it's... can see how bad it can be. Oh yeah, if, if it hasn't been polished, you know, polished all the way out. Um, um, well, and obviously we didn't play to further levels because there's a lot of things in the instructions that we didn't oh, encounter. Yeah. Things that transport you around. Um, in Fade Out? Yeah, no, sorry, in the stacks. In the stacks. Oh, yeah, man, we just have me barely. We so should, we, we can't should... give a lot of feedback. We will revisit this because yeah. there's a lot more to it. If you wouldn't mind making it like a bit easier and then we could, <laughs> like, not that like what you need to do, we can keep pushing through, but that yeah, would be. Yeah, we will. Because we'll, we'll get used to the, the yeah, difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Um, because then we would, we'll be able to give feedback on the other enemies. Yeah, and the other elements of it. And, and how I, much more difficult it is with a bigger map. Oh, hell yeah. And it would be a pleasure to do it, honestly. This would be a fun oh, one. Oh, yeah. And me, me and James can get competitive. We'll get a bit competitive about who can make it farther and yeah. stuff, too, which would be good. I think maybe we'll maybe we'll do this um, the Wednesday when I get back. Cool. Um, I'll see what's scheduled, but this would be a good one to revisit next yeah, Wednesday, absolutely. I think. 
Um, um, and so then, let's go on to Hunt the Wumpus. There's three different versions, all very different. Very different. Same idea. Um, second one was my favorite. Graphically, was... the second one, awesome. Where you're moving through. Yeah, and it's just there's the mazes, elements. I also oh, beautiful It looking. felt like I was playing like more of a game of chess than, than the other yes. two. The other two felt like I was constantly being messed with by the bat <laughs> yes. or i was or the or the wumpus like, is moving so yeah. there's this element of like oh like, what's happening I how do i even win this yeah because honestly it's like as soon as you see a w it's almost like well it could be anywhere so you almost want to just shoot and see yeah and then you sh anyway so then and then the third one was just random whoa it was like tough what, game. what is happening tough game yeah i mean the graphics were cute but, definitely but i think the controls it were just so much more polished in the second one moving from screen to screen and oh my god i want more games using that engine from hunt the wumpus yeah for like rpg games oh my Can god you imagine yeah. an rpg like game? a dungeon crawler oh my god enemies coming out and it, rather than a dot well they may not be able to do that because of they're using other graphics for things yeah. but anyway even dots where you can fire uh you have a melee weapon or you have an arrow and these other dots are following you and you can pick up upgrades and you can just have graphics on the side telling you what they are oh, rather yeah. than represent them with or your text on the side or the bottom telling you what things are rather than enhancing your graphics dots are fine yeah as dots long are as you great. have so we know what's up out. we gotta know what Please, green and red means somebody take that engine yes. and make it into an rpg Oh my god, a dungeon crawler with that? Be, It'd blow my mind. Be incredible. Yes, or you know, adapt it to a Temple of Apshire. Just make a new one. Um, tombstones. Um, That's fun. I like it's, Tombstones. It's, it's, um, it's got a little bit of strategy. It's very simple. It's a yeah. simple, straightforward game. It does get hard, and I think as we said, you know, add more enemies. I think that would be a little bit more interesting. But it does get hard as it get, as the speed goes up. Um, I don't know what you could add yeah, to that. Yeah, I mean, it's that one is just... Straightforward. I'd, I'd love to try the electric version. We yeah, there get, was maybe a bug. We couldn't get that to work. I don't know what's up there, but something... That would have been... Uh, maybe it's my more, system's broken. I who don't knows? Know. Would, check it would have been a funner game, I think, with that. And it would have been neat to push to the end. Um, yeah. And... Uh, but, I mean, it's just such a cool... I love, and they said it well, it's neat to sort of have the labyrinthian sort of idea combined with the shooter the yeah. stopping and it's, it more, adds this other layer of challenge. more you shoot the harder it gets because you're setting yourself up yeah. for failure that's a it's a neat little game totally um and, and then nothing this... wrong with small games and huge games, games. like small or fun like well, people play them on their phone all the time like just yeah simple. it's like that worm one is just <laughs> yeah yeah it never ends um, um, and obviously the stacks is a masterpiece in the making holy cow like you it's can just the tell the depth of it is is insane the, yes. the 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 all these ideas as well like i've never done i guess he he the impossible mission i've never played yeah but i haven't done i haven't played anything like this it's very it's, fun it's similar it's a collect-a-thon but real building things with it and different enemies that you have to navigate I, in different I rooms like that you can do the puzzle pieces as an option you get to sort of find keys and yes. you gotta dodge stuff you gotta fight stuff and it's like the it, if, if you want to take the puzzle part of it further, um, you could incorporate something from Impossible Mission where the puzzle is not just you're collecting the pieces and you know where to put them. You collect the pieces and then you can move around the pieces to make the puzzle. Yeah. So you have those six pieces and you have like, you know, a discard pile as well so you can move around and you try and piece those six things together to make a picture yeah. and you would get some sort of bonus i know it doesn't come into the factor of winning this game but a big enough bonus that it's like a two extra lives or i don't know a lot of points or totally something like that i don't know because we didn't collect enough puzzle pieces to finish a puzzle i don't know if maybe that's part of it we don't know I had the same idea while watching the show not sure if i could squeeze that in yeah that does yeah. add a lot of complexity it does for moving around graphics yeah. and i'd say the just the first thing i would look at would be the the 
the challenge would yeah. be the first thing to address just for someone just for a, cat, a person like me who just yeah. sort of comes in and has never yeah. the enemies are great enemies are great there's a lot of variation even in the first level rats are great the electric guys are great pedophiles it's are funny, great I guess. you know like you got like the kind of um uh and the trailers are great yeah so i love the i love 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 that um uh you can reset the same level yeah every time you play it it's different yep. you can kind of go back and yep. like, that's really nice and the fact that it's a world within a world like Hell you yeah. have the over overworld and then you go into trailers that's amazing for 2600 games that oh, it can yeah. have that kind of depth it feels like an nes game actually if i'm if i'm totally honest it feels yeah. like like, like castlevania zelda-esque where yeah. they have that overworld and you go into the you know the dungeon he says there's more the there's more enemies just peek into i'm gonna oh, okay i'll pop go to four i'm gonna pop into four and then just, we'll look just, at three Oh, a little, little flash there. Oh, so we got... Whoa. Oh, that's, yeah. okay, I'm, just, I'm just gonna check out... Whoa, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm, uh, hmm. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Not so good. Yeah. Oh, respawn points. Like, yeah. That's a challenge because I know some respawn points place you in immediate danger, like death, right away. Yeah, like this, this rat so, is like tough. A response to points is a very interesting part of this, um, but it's difficult. Whoa! Like, see where yeah. are they gonna place you? <laughs> At least he's faster. It's easier to jump a faster rat. I think actually. so too. Yeah. So this is like I feel like I'm moving a little bit quicker. I don't know. Oh, respawns are a known issue. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like what's safe, what's fair. Yeah, it's sort of tricky, um, and because this is neat. for moving guys, oh, what what it could be is you have a safe respawn point, like say it's always the left-hand side of the screen, and the enemy is always starts on the right-hand side of the screen, or the safest spot. Wow. Wow, that was so lucky. Like, always start the enemy on the right, and you on the left for respawns. So that you're never... In, especially if, like, if they're moving left. If they're moving right, then start them just pa just past you just curious what on the left. Looks like. Yeah, we didn't find any new enemies on that, did we? Different types of moving Oh, enemies. so I'm actually... I can move... I'm, I'm, I was moving faster in the other one. Okay, well that's fair because they're it's moving cool, faster. Yeah. It's just a faster pace. Oh look, static ones, yay! See, oh. this should be like the first level. I don't know if you can even jump over those. I feel like I could. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, okay. see, this these should be like the first level. This should be first level. You know what yeah. I mean? Static ones, yeah. Well, they Although, are, they're pretty difficult. Bam! And maybe only bam. one of them. Okay, good. This is those are deadly. See, that's a good respawn. See that? He just starts in the middle and you're on the right. Oh. It's like a safe respawn. Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah, a little bit of glitch there, but that's not a big deal. Since it's random, yeah. it's, it's going to be a different. I love those guys. They just add a little, a little bit of weirdness. But to jump really close. Yeah, to it's them. really, you got to kind of learn it. Not too close. Not too close. It's funny, oh. they're almost harder in some ways. Because they're so precision. Set up to have the same enemies in the beginning, so you have to explore more stacks to see more enemies. So that is, is harder, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually... see what you mean, dude. I, at first, I'm like, this is easier, but right. no, you're right. It's actually harder. Yeah, it um, is. Maybe, like, yeah, one static one or something. Like yeah, that. maybe just one. Oh, this is the same... Same, it's the same layout, technically. See? Much easier to dodge. <laughs> Wait. Unless you're an idiot. Those guys are easy. It's mm. tough, man. Gotta make it. Oh. You got this. I believe in you. Oh. Oh. It's hard, man. I can do it. We gotta see these new enemies. This looks like it's set up the same every time. Oh, it is because you keep hitting the same like um, uh, order of map. 
Oh, because I don't go away. Yeah, yeah, you have and, to switch and that's away. the cool thing that's is, you, good. and you can. So it's a really nice feature, and also um, you can type in one that you want, for example. Right. So like you want to finish off one. Yeah, like it seems like if you picked like an easy one, like I don't know, like uh, zero 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 be, or, yeah. or whatever it is. Might and, as well. And then you go like one 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 two 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 or whatever the thing is, so that way it's like you know, like your maps. That's it's kind of like an arcade game. You'd always like, you know. Yes. Yay, I got something. Something, and then it's instant death when I come out. That's an issue, too. Yeah. Because when you come out of the door, the guys reset. Yeah. Like, the enemies reset. So you have to make them safe for every door. That's too it's, hard. It's when challenging. When yeah. you can come in from the left, come in from the right, and two doors. Like, how do you... Like, it's just, I think, honestly, ah! it's outside Yay! of, it's really, it's, it's outside of the areas that are, where, where the challenge is really crazy. See, I, that was, see, me. Yeah, see, it's, Both of those, I came in, and I was dead instantly, and then respawned, and died instantly. Because the other thing is, is that, that um... That, see, that two in a row. Yeah. That's a problem. And the other thing is, is that if you, if you did like not have if you could navigate the main area a bit easier then you could be a bit more strategic about like oh a hamburger's here i can go get that you know like you could kind of um you know make some more gambles versus mm. it's tough when it's like um death on every screen yeah but this is level three this is level that's three. fine this is totally cool yeah because you want to you want to ramp it up this is four death four is intense Let's run away. <laughs> coming back is going to be its own challenge. Yeah. Good luck coming back. Yeah, you jump and move really fast. It's hilarious. Higher gravity. Maybe we'll add a grace period. Yeah, not a bad idea. Oh, that would solve it. Where they don't move for yeah. like a second. So it might feel a bit weird. But... Oh, like an invincibility. Yeah. Oh, that. Although it's tough because you could cheese the game in some ways. Yeah. Yeah, you could, but it's worth trying. He says you have to be fast. The map is huge. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that you gotta just navigate ah. this crazy big map. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh my God, that's hard. Yeah, he says. Ah. He says that he's Impaler is coming in saying the stacks is a huge game. Should be easier to keep players motivated to play to the end. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you make it easier, yeah. Definitely. Just yeah. in the first couple. Just, just in the first easy few, level. First few levels. Level two. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I, I really think it's like it's outside of this. It's outside in the stacks area that it's the most frustrating because then yes, I feel like I'm like so immediately in the, the, the yeah, danger. Yeah, keep, keep more of the danger inside. The so trailers, that, yeah. That you can navigate it a little bit like easier. Outside, you could have like blocks, so it's almost more like you're navigating like a puzzle. Yeah. And you could kind of do. More static guys, those guys that don't move at first. Yeah. Because those could... are like, oh, I have to go around. around. Here. And then it's fun because you can sort of like learn the patterns of stuff yeah. and then start to slowly ramp it up um, as that goes. Especially if they're, because it's also huge, there's a lot of places to go. Yeah. So hopefully that's enough, but we will definitely revisit this again definitely um on another wednesday cats are desperate love the tardis type trailers larger inside than out yes i agree that's, that's great stuff that is funny at first when i was just testing it just to make sure everything was working i was like oh does this trailer lead to another trailer and i'm like oh my god nightmare maze but no it doesn't it's just one trailer mm -hmm. you go in you go out to the same one which is better and Thrust said, I will review this when I get back to programming. And thank you so much for making yes. this game. This yes, is amazing. Thank you for continuing on this game. It's definitely worthy for to take that contest version and make it into a releasable yeah. you know, game that you can sell on cartridge because it's definitely worth it. It's awesome. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Thomas, for, for investing this time. Yeah. Um, and Astral Nomad says... You have to answer this, but he says, hey guys, I left a comment on a YouTube page asking you about those RAM games. I just wanted to know where I can find info on how to make those types of games. Oh, the best place for um, learning about um, making uh, games is the Atari Age forums. Um, there's lots of categories. There's, I think, a, a forum 
area for programming for beginners and there'll probably be some stickied posts there where it'll point you to some places where you can learn learn the basics about how the 2600 or you want to know about specifically ram games or all 2600 anyway i'll you you go there you can you need to learn the basics of a an atari 2600 ram games are hard to make because you have 128 bytes to make a game not easy not easy but yeah definitely go check out the atari age forums and you can also look specifically for those ram games and look for the people who program them and see their progression of how they you know kind of figured their way out through the game and you have to use some very advanced tricks for uh, memory saving to be able to pack it into 128 bytes because you have to have graphics <laughs> mostly they're just blocks and he yeah. said uh thank you i tried googling and it gave me everything but what i was looking for oh, typical everything. google astro oh, here's everything yeah. yeah um i have a version for prge 2016 that shows more enemies like different enemies oh okay oh cool um yes very good game um and thank you for letting us um play this and yeah, demo man. it for everyone and hopefully giving some be more feedback and we will be giving more feedback in another episode yeah. when we play this more torture ourselves with the difficult we'll, but we'll fight we'll, we'll, fight we'll get the hang of level uh, two um if you don't uh, ramp down the difficulty by then oh not general atari yeah definitely go search in atari age they do have a search in there um just search for um the names of those games like ram pong ram um tic-tac-toe um, you can also download the comprehensive um, 2600 list made by ArenaFoot slash Brian Mathern. And it will give you the list of those RAM games. Just look for RAM in, those, in that list and it will give you all the links as well for yeah. all the discussion points on RAM. And then you can talk to those people who made those RAM games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Charles in check says, uh, looks great. Can't wait for the cart. Yes. I agree, dude. Definitely. Not General Atari. Almost other, all other games are in RAM only. Well, <laughs> 128 bytes. That's all. That's. A uh, very don't worry small about amount. the at sign. We know what you were saying, man. It's all good. Yeah, not at. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is it for this week. Um, the Atari 2600 um, awards, or the Atari Awards 2018. Um, very exciting. So watch for more details on that. We'll be giving more details out on the show as things progress. Also on the Atari Age forums, you can check. Um, on. We're going to be posting a list of all the games that have come out in 2018. So you can kind of get a handle on which ones are up for awards. And, and we're going to be posting categories as well. And you can make a suggestions as oh. well for which games you think are worthy, are the really good ones. Voting begins january 1st 2019 for the atari award so you can make the decision of what you think the best game for graphics sound overall you know best hack all of the different categories so you can have your voice and thank you chad for um setting up and answering some of these questions it's, it's wonderful yes and yes. um and thank then, you so and, much and, thomas for answering and thank these you all for hanging out this is what this is one of the longer shows we've done oh my god so, really so, long but we had a lot to go we over to go over. so thanks and a big for, game the stacks and yeah. thank you all for staying all the way to the end that's yeah. really fun thrust 26 ground trooper okay. astral nomad uh, tiki, tiki dan, dan k charles and check uh, Mr. Um, Fix, Impaler. Impaler 74, um, and going way back. Uh, Wait, Arena, Arena for being there for the beginning, and you got a you got a long episode to watch on YouTube. So when you make it to the end of yeah. YouTube, Ground Th Trooper. I don't know if we said that. Cool Crab as well. Um, yeah. Dionoid 2600. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of people chatting. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching us die. Yeah, over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much fun. And good to have you on um, on stream, Charles. If you've been watching yeah. on YouTube and now you're Thanks checking for, out Twitch, it's awesome. Because yeah, sometimes uh, it doesn't line up with people's schedules, and sometimes it does. So yeah. you can make it to some shows. Thanks for hanging out. And um, yeah, next on Friday we're going to be doing all Puzzle Day. Cool. That's so Tanya, gonna, right? Yeah, yeah Tanya yeah, loves she's, puzzle she's games. Down. So it's going to be I think four or five different puzzle games. 
Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'll be away next week um, because I'm off doing a Q&A for my world premiere of my documentary feature film that's right. in Miami. So that's pretty exciting. So I'll come back yeah. with tales of that. All those adventures. Hopefully we win some awards. You, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Just being there is awesome. Being able to show your film is the best feeling ever. Hell yeah. And doing a Q&A. Oh my God, that's the best. Forget awards. Q&A yeah, is getting awesome. Getting to respond that, to that the audience. Feedback. And that's what, we, uh, that's what we do here. We give feedback to yeah. developers. And I think it's so much fun that's probably my favorite part of the show actually the interactive little moments where you get to kind of like talk, talk about a game because you, you never i never get that you know you're always how can you in any other realm like yeah. you're gonna talk with pe people at microsoft like one-on-one -on -one yeah, and chat you're, like you're this, playing like or, the witcher and you're just like PS4? wouldn't it be better if yeah it's this, crazy. this in the witcher no it's not it's happening. never gonna go you're never gonna get that interaction so this is this is amazing this is so much fun and we've been doing this for like about half a year now, about yeah. 50 shows or something. Wow. I haven't counted them up, but around that, half a year, 50 shows. So much fun. A game in 16 bytes. Mm. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll see you on Friday. It'll be at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern, a little bit later. Try and vary them up Absolutely. once in a while so that different people can uh, come and check it out. Um, yeah, we did a whole show on Ram games, so you can check out that. That's probably what he's referencing. Ask, um, the person who brought that up. Astral okay. Nomad. Astral Nomad, It's yeah. a cool name, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very cool good. name. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. We're going to definitely revisit Stacks on a Wednesday. Hell yeah. Um, in the future, maybe when I get back, that Wednesday after. Sounds smart. We'll see. We'll see what the schedule works out to, but everybody will know. And, uh... Glad they're gone enough, <laughs> and I'm hungry for lunch. Same at two o'clock. So, um, we'll see you next time uh, on uh, Zero Page Homebrew on Friday. And thanks for everybody for hanging out once again um, with us. And I'll see you guys when I'm here next. Yeah, in two weeks. Yep. Okay. Bye bye.